city of Los Angeles in the We Play studios. And uh, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek as to where we're playing our games today. Ooh, ah, look at the desk. Look at the jib. Everything is so uh, majestic, fantastic. And listen, I'm going to tell you what makes today even more special than all of our previous episodes. It's because we've got Phil joining us, hosting for the first time. Phil, what's up, man? Uh, you know what? I couldn't be any more uh, excited to be in this studio. Uh, you can't tell because of the heavy makeup they've applied. But I was crying tears of joys earlier, okay? And I think it's all going to be justified by the time this show wraps up. Listen, you look good, man. Usually when I see you, it's like we're playing Melee or it's like some Smash stuff Ooh. or we did, you know, some of those crown shows. But like you on the big stage looking all professional, I like this look. Yeah, I, I'm not used to this, too. They were putting lav mics on me and stuff like that. I was like, I'm used to a handheld, if that, you know, maybe a headset with a, you know, a little Ricky Dink uh, setup. But you know what? This is real professional and I feel like it's just going to encapsulate what we're going to see put on for us. Oh, yeah. I you mean, like that word, don't you? Encapsulate. You encapsulate. You broke out the dictionary for this I'm show. I'm not playing around, girl. Come on. You no, know, no, that's good. That's good. <laughs> well, then, hey, let's kick off uh, your first episode Ooh. of NFL's TNG by taking a look at some of the players. Oh, I think Grace on the stage. All right, let's take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and read it out for you already know. It's going to be a blockbuster show for us. Team TG right there showing up. Who is that? Team Foosley, okay? My girl Foosley. Cutie Cinderella, you already know she had to have a squad for sure. My boy Symphony, of course, on the mark. You already know. Shouts to FaZe, by the way, won the Halo Championship last Sunday. <laughs> you already know I had to show him some love. And of course, Cypher PK. That is a well rounded group. Yeah, no, those are going to be all of our team captains, and they have all assembled yep. these teams, Team Cypher PK, Team Symphony, of all of some of your favorite content creators. Now, each week, we're going to be taking one of those professional gamers and pairing them with two professional NFL superstars. Now, they may be current players, or they could be legends, and they're going to be playing a bunch of games. As they should. I think that's the thing that I'm most uh, looking forward to when it really kind of comes down to it. See the format right there being presented for you. I'll tell you the truth, Avali, the thing that really caught my attention was the fact that we're not just limited to one game. And I think it's going to do the format even more justice. Oh, yeah. We are playing multiple games for this entire split and season. We've got Rocket League, Fortnite, Madden NFL 24, Fall Guys, and Apex Legends. And listen, if you've watched any of our previous episodes of this second season, you've seen us switch back and forth between a couple mm -hmm. games. We've played the first round of Fall Guys, the second round of Fortnite, a little bit of Rocket League. We are going to be shaking up this format even more for the rest of this season. What we're going to be doing starting today is we are just going to be playing one specific game. Just one. And each of those wins is still going to be one extra point there counted is. toward those, uh, you know, team totals to see who's making it out of the group stage and into the playoffs. But this is going to be really cool, EE, -E, because previously we've seen uh, some of our players have to figure out, oh, I've never played Rocket League before, but I'm kind <laughs> of good at Fall Guys. And now it's all just focusing on one. Apex Legends, dude. I think, and that's the perfect game to kind of uh, open things up with because it's so popular, right? Like, who doesn't play Apex? Apex Legends. That is definitely a game that's just become a worldwide sensation. I'm pretty terrible at it, which is why I'm comfortable on the stage and not actually on the sticks. So it works out pretty nicely for everybody involved. I think it's like a good thing that we don't have Nicewig of, I believe he's on Team Cypher. He may be on Team Symphony. I'm not quite sure, but if Nicewig was taking mm -hmm. the stage with Apex, like... That'd be a little spooky scary. It's a little bit. I mean, it is, you know, it is Halloween month, so it's okay. If things get a little spooky real quick, don't worry about it. It's going to be fun. I'm very excited. Have you figured out your Halloween costume yet? I have, actually. I'm. Th Listen, okay, this is a little out there, okay? But I was thinking my girl goes as a witch and I go as the broom. <laughs> right? That's not bad. That's not bad. I like to be a little creative. <laughs> I can do a Toy Story or whatever. He likes to be a little different. Man, 
See, that's way more creative than me. I just wanted to be the giant chicken that stands behind Abdul and JoJo. Okay, that's fair. That, right? That's on brand for you, though. I feel like that could work. <laughs> I feel like that could work. Now, I know that we're going to be speaking with someone in just a moment. Yes. Uh, but before we bring them in, I, I, I want everyone who's in Twitch chat to let us know, what is your Halloween costume going to be? You've still got, I think, a couple more weeks to uh, put it together. You piece know, it together. It's kind of funny. Like, I care so much more about, like, the Halloween presentation now that I'm an adult versus when I was a child. Before then, it was just about the candy. You know what I'm saying? It was just about the candy and the good times. Now it's about the presentation. Because you already know, you're competing for IG likes, essentially. That's what our whole business has come down to. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. competing for IG likes. You know what? That's fine. But listen, listen. We have a uh, virtual guest uh, who's a part of our State Farm Sideline Report uh, who's going to be joining us right now. So let's go ahead and introduce them. This is the State Farm Sideline Report. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, Scott, where are you right now? I see. Is that like a dorm bedroom? I like those pillows that are on the bed. What's up? <laughs> Thank you. I'm in my dorm right now. Oh, that's cool. Where do you go to school, man? Xavier um, University of Louisiana, New Orleans. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, okay. They got some good they got some good food up there, okay? So I know I, I understand why you're virtual. <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave that food either. I understand that, brother. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's so cool, man. Well, uh, what brings you here today? You a big fan of NFL or Tuesday night gaming? A little mix of both, a little mix of both. Little That's awesome, mode. dude. What's your favorite game? What's your favorite video game? Um, probably Ark Survival Evolved. I, I think I've been playing Ark a lot. I've been playing Ark a lot. Oh, you're oh, playing wow. Ark? That okay. Yeah. He's playing Ark. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. That that's like a, a, a from left field kind of answer. I'm not mad at. It. I'm just saying. Me personally, I was a little surprised. Do you have any experience though in our in our game of today, Apex? Wait, ever, wait, 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 wait. E, I want to ask him what, what the biggest dinosaur he tamed was. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, I, I've tamed some Gigas, I've tamed some Brontos, a little bit of everything. Wow. That's and actually Apex pretty, is pretty impressive. Cool. Apex we got a real cool. gamer I, I right now. I main Mirage, though. A main Mirage in Apex. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just out the world impressed right now, okay? We got us a Southern <laughs> boy, plays some gaming, knows what he's talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Tell me a little bit, though. I know you're involved in, like, the Sideline Report program. How's that been going for you thus far? It's been amazing. Um, they came down here a few weeks ago and recorded. That was super awesome. Then I come out next week. So I'm just, I'm living the dream right now. I'm living the dream. Living the well, dream. you're coming here in studio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, okay. We're going to have to link up on that one. I like that. Now, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask EE -E, since he is the professional here? Or should I say Phil? What the heck? Why, why would he? <laughs> We're professional. It's Phil now. You, you know what? Yeah, ask me something, actually. This will be a good, a good test for me. All right, what's probably been your favorite part of the job so far? Ooh, my favorite part of the job? Working with my best friend, Avali, right Oh, he's here. lying. He's I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's one of my best friends. I love her to death. But honestly, it's, it, you know, for me, and you could probably attest to this, it really comes down to just being able to work with an awesome crew, get to learn a lot of new things, and just put yourself in a, an environment you might not be too familiar with, but you have an opportunity to grow in. I think that's something that you're going to have a bright future in, my guy. Real talk. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. That's dope. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you soon, man. Have a safe flight out here, and uh, we'll see you later. Thank you. See you guys soon. All right now. I liked him. Oh, that was I liked Scott. him a lot. He didn't stop smiling. He had that he had that real southern energy that when I go down to the south, I'm expecting that good hospitality. I know he's gonna bring some good vibes next week. Yeah, I've absolutely been loving all of our State Farm sideline reports, and I can't wait to see what Scott's bringing to the table. But listen, that's gonna be in the future. Yes. Before we step into that, we gotta focus on what happened last week because we got a lot of crazy things that went down. So let's take a look at the recap. We're bringing that never back down, never give up mentality, and we're gonna just keep on pushing. And at the end of the day, I mean, we're going against Aiden. Come on now, we got this. It's easy. Dad on Aiden. Oh man, listen, Nick's a nice guy, but he, he can't he can't guard me. I'm a, listen, I'm gonna kill him with kindness today. That's all I'm gonna say. There's a guy flying above us right here. See him? You can shoot him as he's going dead. Oh my gosh. Nah, they're trash. Amazing effort by Nick. Hold up. Oh, oh I got one. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Oh, nice. situation. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, they going the same route? Oh. Yo, yes, sir. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. AJ versus Aiden. 
We know how good the running back is for the Packers with his legs. We know how good Aiden is with his thumbs. Strike no fear into my heart. I, I'm Saikuno. I, I play a lot of games. <laughs> my man right here, he invented games, he plays games, he's the best in all of California. Welcome to the show, Saikuno! with 11 kills to his name. He's really good at hyping people up. He really believes in me. If I don't let him down. Hello, Deshaun and Puka. I can't wait to game with you two tonight. I don't like the building. I just want to shoot. <laughs> oh, he's game in front of Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Got him. Oh, my God. That's such a bad spot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, he couldn't handle it. This is going to be an epic. Oh, my oh. God. He did it. Saikuno. <laughs> yeah. oh the hype man yeah. himself. Yeah. I think we'll have a good time, and that's the most important thing when playing games. We're in a really special spot today because we're joined by Puka Nakua. Where's AD? Go get him. No shot. There we go. There we go. There we go. Doesn't matter. Cooper Cup. Take oh. <laughs> AD. That's Michael Vick. Don't worry about it. Oh, we got no. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey. Hey. No, Dubs. Get the ball. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go, Rondale. Go, Rondale. Go. Oh. Come on, Puka. You got <laughs> it. Shot. Oh, yes. Yeah. Almost got him. Let's go. <laughs> no, oh, we're out of there. Got me torched. We're out of there. He's actually got me torched. Let's go. Get him. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's all right. Hey! <laughs> yo, I want to give a huge shout out, Puka. Absolute blast, y'all. All right, now that was all the action that happened last week. Did you didn't you see how the cutie cats were able to pull that through with Saikuna? <laughs> I it's thought crazy. I thought that was incredibly impressive. That's one of the reasons was like like you know what I love recaps because if you can't be here, you still feel like you were there. You know, at the end of it, I feel like I was there. So it's a good look. Yeah, well, let's bring in two people that definitely make us feel like we are in the same room with all the action. It's our casters, Guy and Avery. How are you two doing up there in the? Uh, it's like the rafters, you guys, with your pistachios. Mm. Yeah, you know we up here in the balcony. It's just like our little nest, okay? We're hoarding all the nuts that y'all can't have now. We're like squirrels up here <laughs> in our little yes. raft. We're getting ready for the show, but you know, we're ready to get things started here soon. How you doing today, Avery? I'm doing good. I'm really excited for today because you know I'm a first-person shooter girl, mm -hmm. so I am hyped to see Apex in the building. Same here, man, okay? I'm big on the first-person shooters, and we got a double header of Apex. We've never had that, I believe, and we got a lot of awesome gamers in the house today. Absolutely. Well, listen, I don't want to cut you two off, but uh, I kind of want to see the games being played today. So I'm going to say farewell to you two. And let's go ahead and jump into this match card. All right, EE, e., this is what we've got for today. Starting off with our first team that we're going to see, it's Team TG led by We The People. And he's going to be joined by Bobby. Bobby O'Care, okay. I was practicing that, and my man, Dion Dawkins. That's going to be Team TG, looking formidable, especially with We The People. That's a bad man, but how about Super Evan, extraordinary, my man Josh Downs as well, and of course, Travius Hodges Tomlinson going to be the opposition representing Team Swag. Team Swag, this is, again, Team Swag's second showing ever in yep. NFL's uh, Tuesday Night Gaming, so excited to see that, but Aiden gonna be leading Team Symphony along with Hunter Long and their third teammate, Ryan Shazier. Oh my goodness, Ryan Shazier in the building. I am so looking forward to getting the chat with him. Of course, Aiden, we already know FPS God, to say the least. Hunter Long gonna be in some very capable hands. 
then finally to round out the day, we have MMG Show Match, and he's going to be facing Hunter Long today. Will it be Madden? Will it be more Fall Guys? Honestly, you're just going to have to stay tuned to see what happens. But this is definitely going to be a jam-packed day with Apex action, especially with Team TG going twice against both Team Swag and I was Team Symphony. I was going to say, it's something to be said about having to run a doubleheader, okay? That's not something traditionally you have to do in football. You might have a short week sometimes, a quick turnaround, but never just a quick back-to-back -back on the same day. So we're going to have to see what they're made of on the sticks for that one. Yeah, and with this new format, it's they are playing two series of Apex, but it's two games in each series. Yep. So basically four back-to-back -back games. But listen, let's go ahead and meet our first player that's going to be repping Team TG. Let's go ahead and take a look at We The People. Hey everybody, I am here with We The People. It is time for us to learn a little bit more about you. All of you people, we the people, all in one. Hello, sir. So I was born in Brazil. Okay. Grew up in Boston. Wow. Um, and now I'm living in Austin, Texas with all my fellow Apexers. So talk to me about how you got to Apex. What, what's your gaming history? Where'd you start off and what got you here? I remember coming from Brazil to America in 2001, ironically the same year that Tom Brady started playing for the Patriots. Just throwing that out there. Okay. The first game I ever played uh, as a shooter was Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Wow. And uh, there was no online play. You just, you do the campaign over and over and over <laughs> again, um, but it was fun. And then everything changed when Xbox 360 came out with Call of Duty 4. I got a taste of like that online competitive action oh, yeah. and I was I was really, really good. And then we took things to a whole nother level on MW2. I was okay. in the eighth grade in 2009 and I went to the midnight release, right? The good old days, of I'm course. sure you remember. Out by the blockbuster, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went to the midnight release. My mom let me stay home the next day, which was That's rare. That's unheard of. Rare. What a hype mom. Uh, that was the only time she's ever let me stay home after a midnight release. Damn. Uh, the next four days of that week of school, I stuck my fingers down my throat mm -hmm. to make myself puke in the morning every okay. single day to say like, hey, mom, I'm sick. I can't go to school. And we grinded uh, MW2, right? No way. After four days, she told me I got to go back to school. So she would drop me off. I would run home 20 minutes, just straight running home to my basement to play Call of Duty. And um, <laughs> at, for the first two weeks of the game on the PlayStation 3, I was the number three player in the world for whoa, kills. Whoa, whoa. And the number one for demolition. Whoa, okay. It, in my city, the majority of kids my age knew of me because Damn. of Call of Duty, and they um, they gave me the nickname Codfather, believe it or not. Oh, the Codfather, and holy it was, moly. It was one of the sickest, like, That is insane. Eras of my life, man. For sure, that is a gaming origin story. You are uh, obviously a big fan of the NFL, you uh, know? Uh, yeah. Already name dropping Tom Brady and all that. Oh, what's your favorite team? Where'd that come from? Why, why'd you start liking NFL? New England Patriots, definitely my favorite team, without a question. Okay, easy. Um, but I remember in, I believe it was the third grade, mm. my principal in elementary school brought us all out after we won the Super Bowl to the second floor of the, the school. <sighs> and everybody started going crazy. And I was like, I didn't even know what the NFL or the football was at the time. But like, I started watching it as a way to connect to the American kids and like make mm. friends. Really started getting into it. I, I like the hidden aspect of it and like <laughs> just started falling in love with, with football. And, and I mean, it was easy to cheer for the Patriots growing up, you know, like sure. winning I, I, all the Super Bowl parades and Boston sports, man, on top. There you go. On top. Absolutely, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, love that package from We The People. My main point, my main takeaway from that, kids, do not induce vomiting to play a video game. It will be there after class. Wait, 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 wait. I was just about to say, that was a genius decision and a genius move. Because I mean, like, if you could fake vomit, if you could fake make yourself sick, like, I would have done that for Baldur's Gate 3. We're gonna have a little discussion off camera, so I'm gonna get you guys a chance to uh, meet our other player, Super Evan. I Girl, think good idea. Stop. Hello, Tuesday Night Gaming, I am here with Evan of Team Swag, Mr. Super Evan, if you will. Well, they do call you Super. They do, uh, some, some do. <laughs> how did you earn this name? 
How do I earn this name? Yeah. I'm a big, I'm a big uh, superhero fan. I, oh. I like the Marvel characters. I know it's like Superman. I know he's not really like, you know, <laughs> part of like Avengers stuff, but I, I like the Avengers. I okay. Think that's, uh, that's good movies. All right, all right. So uh, a little bit about the NFL. Are you a fan of the NFL? You watch the NFL. NFL. Really? Yeah. Okay, favorite team. Big sports better, by the way. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Favorite team? I got two. I'm stuck at two. All right, right, I like right. that. So one I'm proud of, the other one I'm not so proud of. Mm. Uh, I'm proud of the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's my hometown team. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> and then the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, yeah. come on. There's yeah. something wrong with the Falcons, right? I don't know. We're on the wrong side of history. Well, you seem like you've played a lot of games in your time. I so, have. all right. All right. What was the first game you played? Halo 3. Halo 3? Yeah, Xbox that, 360. Maybe. That was your first video game? Well, if we're talking like serious, like my first video game was like Donkey Kong on oh, Nintendo okay, 64 okay, or something okay. like that. All right, all right. So let's talk about Halo 3 then. That was the first game that you were like uh, serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. And what got you into it? You know, so my brother got, he was asking, my older brother was asking for like uh, the Xbox 360 because all of his friends had one. And, uh, the, my parents got like a bundle mm. for like Halo and the Xbox that like, came with it or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was the only game we had and it kind of just like, I just started playing it just because I thought it was like cool or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I just fell in love with it. I mean, it, just the, the first person shooter type game was like my thing. So Were you like competitive in that? You, you Not really competitive. Know? I was too young at the time. I was probably like 10 years old or 11 <laughs> years old. But, uh, and then I switched over to Call of Duty, which was like Call of Duty 4. Ah. It was the OG CODs. Okay, um, okay. And that's when everything kind of like took off for me. Are there any other teams, uh, guys that you recognize? Yeah, like uh, Aiden, Symphony, uh, Brooke AB. All right. Uh, Is there anyone that you don't want to lose against? That I don't want to lose against? Yeah. Aiden. Aiden? <laughs> Why is that? Because we have a little bit of a rival in, uh, in Call of Duty to start with. So ah. it's like we're bringing it over here a little bit. Now. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, any words for him specifically? You going to crush? Hey, he's going. You're just... I don't even know why you're gonna show up. You're, oh. gonna, you're gonna get a show. All right, take it easy. Yeah. Aiden said nothing but kind things about you. I know, Aiden, I love you, I love you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kidding, all right, great, great. Cool, well, for anyone that doesn't, or might be a fan uh, of you and is watching now, but doesn't know what team to cheer for, can you tell our fans why Team Swag is taking season two of Tuesday Night Gaming? Like I said before, we're the most handsomest, the most athletic, Dang. and I'd probably say, what's a good word? What would you describe us as? Like uh, a, strong, a strong word. Now, if I had to describe you guys, it would be precision. You know? I like that. You're caught players. I like players. that precision. You zoom in. Your head, sh you know, you guys are no scoping all See, over you the knew, place. You, you, knew, know? The, you knew the word I know that I wanted. You, you knew are. the word that I wanted, precision. This is a team of precision. So, uh, if you are looking for the most cutting edge, <laughs> point and click adventure team out there, is your boys right here. Keep an eye on Team Swag and Super Evan for more on Tuesday Night Gaming. He had a lot to say about Aiden, but he's not playing Aiden today. He's playing Team TG and We The People. So, I mean, I feel like he's got to be focusing on the enemy ahead of him first. I kind of agree with you. I mean, anytime you have a chance to get your shots off, you're going to take it. I feel that. But still, as you said, like the opposition, like Aiden's not your ops today. You know what I'm saying? He's not yeah. the one you got to worry about. So we'll see how it pans out. Yeah, you know what? Let's refresh his memory. Let's give him a look at the full roster of Team TG. The core philosophy, the core tenets of our team is to absolutely demolish our competition in tandem with each other. To rise to the top, to stand on the very tippity top of the mountain on the podium, number one. We're not just a team, we're a family. We're Team TG, we're all about the vibes. We're all really good people, we love gaming. We gotta bring the shots on point. We gotta win. We are the best. I wanted to get people from different aspects of gaming, put them all together, and create this concoction of absolute sheer power and will. And we will dominate. We just have a great synergy going on, great vibes, but also, you're just looking at the winners already. So like, psh. Competitions are all about winning, man. Nobody remembers second place. I am the ultimate gamer. I am a secret weapon for cuteness. Uh, I'm currently the number one ranked player in the world for Apex Legends. I'm also a software engineer. If there's one thing we've got, and it's loads of it, it's passion. Follow us, we won't let you down. Team TG, here we come.
Let's welcome them out to the stage, Team TG. Welcome to the stage, Woo! we the people. How's it going, guys? Join me right here, and I'm going to have uh, one of your teammates, Bobby O'Karaki, join us remotely here as well. Now, something that stood out to me when we were learning a little bit about you and your uh, player profile, how many times did you make yourself vomit to trick your mom? It was five straight days. What were you eating? Yeah. Were you throwing corn in there? <laughs> was there you trying to, like, trick her or something? Like Whatever I ate last night. That's hilarious. I respect the dedication to it. <laughs> That's hilarious. But I do have to say, okay, so, I mean, listen, I have to respect the Modern Warfare 2 grind because when I was young, I was on the Xbox 360, like, nonstop, getting my hours in. Uh, definitely wasn't the COD father, but now that we're swapping over to Apex today, what's your confidence like in that game? Uh, pretty, pretty high. Uh, so I'm the reigning number one ranked player in the world right now. A couple of these fellas, they don't necessarily play Apex. So I think it's a little unfair, but it's all about having fun, having a good time, you know, and uh, may the best men win. Show them that there's levels to it, right? There's, there's levels, man. There's levels to it. There's yeah. levels, Eve. I got you, bro. You know what? Love that. You can't do it by yourself. I know Dion is on his way, but we do have Bobby standing by as well. My man, Bobby O'Care, okay? See, if I can say Giannis' his whole name, I can say my man, Bobby. I got you, Bobby. Can you hear me? <laughs> Much respect, brother. Yes, sir, I got you. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Well, look, you heard it from the man himself. You got the number one ranked player in the world on your squad. What does that do for your confidence, Bobby? Y'all feel like you're going to take this? Yeah, it, it boosts my confidence for sure. Um, you know, we're going to play a great team game, and, uh, you know, I'll expect him to lead for sure. <laughs> I like that. That's like, you're like the quarterback right now. Bobby, what up? Let's lock it in, man. <laughs> Let's take it home. Yeah, let's do it, brother. I love that. Now, Bobby, I do have to ask, have you played a bit of Apex before, or is today your first time? No, I've played a bit of Apex. Uh, I think the highest I've been is Diamond, but I haven't played too much this season. I've been trying to lock it. Oh, my Lord. Diamond? I couldn't even get past the tutorial. You, Y'all good. Don't worry. Y'all good. That's what I'm talking, sir. Good Lord. Wait, I think we have Dion joining us right now. Dion, are you with us? Yeah, what's up, yo? And I'm here Great, Dion, we have you joining your teammates, Bobby and We The People. We're just talking about Apex right now. Have you touched the game before today? Uh, I've definitely touched Apex. Um, I, like, I don't know if it was this season or last seasons, but I definitely played uh, my characters, usually like Bangalore. So um, I run it. I'm uh, probably... I agree. Yeah. If, if you can hear me, but I probably said that I'm, I'm probably a little rusty, but it'll it'll come back quick. It's like riding a bike. When it comes to a good first-person shooter, it's like riding a bike. You can attest that. You're taking breaks and you still come back and slay people. Takes a little while to get the rust off, you know, but uh, oh. fellas, we got it. Let's lock it in Love and it. Uh, win some games here. There it is. Absolutely. Well, we're going to let you three go on, get set, and get world, ready. Man. What's up? In the world. <laughs> See, they're giving you love right oh, there, man. I love that. My man. Right? Come on, show us the way, man. That's what's get it. Show us the way. Let's get it. Man, I absolutely love that. Okay, you three, go ahead, get set, get ready, warm up, and we are going to introduce your competition. So best of luck to you. Best of luck, three. my brother. You already know. But Oh my gosh, I love the confidence coming out from those guys. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. It builds up the anticipation. It's, you know it's going to be for a great game. But of course, it's not a one-person party. There's another team involved. Team Swag. We got a little package on them we want you guys to check out. Take a look. What's going on, guys? It's Chris, or you can call me Swag. I am the captain of Team Swag. So to be a member of Team Swag, you honestly just got to carry it with confidence with anything you do. I think that's what the, all the players on our team kind of resemble. Um, they're all very, uh, you know, cool in their own way, in a sense. 
Swag brought us up, and now we're here playing for his team. We want to take it home for the big boy. All I care is that our team wins. Swag's my boy. As long as we win, I'm happy. Our relationship goes on when the cameras are off. I think it would be pretty, I don't want to say easy, but you know, we'll, we'll say easy for us to win. Listen, I might not be the best at video games, but I got my team, the chemistry, the hype levels, the positivity, they're gonna be up. That's what I bring to the table, just the energy and the hype, and making sure my team isn't down bad or sad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all of my teammates, we all come from the Warzone community. Uh, we're all literally demons on the sticks. Oh, I'm sorry, just, just close friends, so I think our team should do well. All these teams on this list, we're not, we're not worried about them at all. That we got them in any game, it doesn't matter. All right, beautiful little package there, but enough hyping them up. It's time to bring them on out, introducing Team Swag. Welcome to the main stage, Trey. You are our only in-house representative of Face Swag right now. We've got Super Evan as well as Josh Downs joining us remotely, but are you ready to really give off that stage presence here today? Uh, yes, for sure, man. I'm just ready to put on for Team Swag and get the win. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this game. 100%. I mean, you know, you play for an L.A. team. You know strangers are winning in L.A. I'm sure you're feeling pretty good about this. Talk to me a little bit. Apex, is that your game? Is that your forte? Uh, man, for sure, man. I, you know, I like a lot of games, but, you know, I'm looking forward to becoming one of the greats like the other guys that I'm facing. And then also my guy that's on my team, on Team Swag, man. So, you know, today we're going to showcase, you know, gameplay on Apex and, you know, hopefully we get the win. Love it. Now, Super Evan, you are the pro on this team, the gamer, I should say, on this team. Does hearing your teammate come out talking with this level of confidence, does that inspire you? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, when you get when you hear that uh, that, kind of, that kind of confidence coming from your teammate, it just, you can only uh, feed off of that. So I'm ready to play, man. I mean, I, Apex isn't my game. I won't, I won't lie, but I, I'm ready. To, I'm excited to play. Okay. Well, that makes two confident members of Team Swag right now. Josh, are you the third? <laughs> of course. Just because my teammate's setting the tone, I gotta set the tone too. You know, it it's not really my game, but I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna do my thing for my guys. You know, come on. Let's do it. I like that. You know what, Avali? I feel like this has all the makings of a great underdog story. You know what I'm saying? Like the three other three we saw, pretty well versed in the game. A little shaky on this part, but the confidence is all the way there. I think something that uh, maybe you don't have the context, the insight of, Phil, because this is your first show. I think this is the first time where we've had every single NFL player have played the game that we're about to play before. Oh, damn. We've had people say, I don't know what Fall Guys is. I've never heard of Fortnite before. What the heck is Rocket League? But no, every <laughs> single one of our NFL players are coming out to play today. All know what Apex is. They've got their favorite, uh, you know, legend locked in. I'm super excited for this. Do you now feel like you're better than all of the other NFL players? Besides, of course, Josh, on your <laughs> squad oh yeah for sure man just the competitive nature that i have i'm always gonna think that you know i'm better than the others so now today josh is on my team so we're gonna put on i like that bro putting the rivalries on the field aside to kind of come together on the sticks i got a good feeling about you trey i feel like you about to shine as bright as that chain right there i feel like i need sunglasses <laughs> up here trying to interview you right now brother but that, that's a good omen for things to come sure. man. This is awesome. Now, Super Evan, for you, I know that you had a lot of words to say about Aiden, but you're not playing Aiden <laughs> today. You're playing We the People uh, of Team TG. So you got anything to say to him before we jump in? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I don't really know him like that, but uh, we'll keep it respectful over here, you know? I'm just, uh, I'm competitive, so we're, we're gonna put him down regardless. Uh, that's fantastic, and I like the confidence. You three, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us on stage. I'm going to let you guys all get set, uh, warm up, get some practice games in before you take the stage. So thank you guys very much. All right, best, best of luck. Best of luck. Let's get it.
Oh, right back oh, there. There you go. There you are. <laughs> Listen, hey, you know what? I he like made, him. I like him. He's, <laughs> I love the confidence coming straight from him. Like, that was fantastic. That's what you have to have, though, sometimes. Because, like, it can feel like, okay, I'm a little undermanned because not everybody's as experienced in the particular yeah. game. But as long as everybody can lock in and focus, look, we've been in game in a long time. Upsets, they happen a plenty. I love it. I love the clean sweep back and forth. Uh, but I'm going to ask you, Team Swag or Team TG? Who do you think's taking it? Ooh, that's tough. Look, I got to go, and this is no disrespect. I, I love my man Trey. I got to go Team TG because we the people, we go back, bro. I know him for like three years. Okay, that's some friendship. Getting vibes. lit, singing karaoke in the bar. Come on, man. Okay, well, what, was go the, what was the song? What was the go-to karaoke song? Um, Oh, man. Man, he didn't know him. You don't know him like that because you can't remember the song off the top of your head. Well, I didn't want to just list something and be ignorant. I want to be authentic with what I'm saying. I'm going with swag. I'm going with Team Swag. Absolutely, hands down. But listen, it's not just us. Let's throw it to the casters who are going to get us into this action. Casters, who do you think is going to take it? Mm, I'm I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I, you know what? Check this out. I do believe in an underdog story, okay? And clearly, the underdog story today is Team Swag with Super Evan, okay? Okay. It's just simply. And you know what? He made a good move not talking no trash to we the people. I think he did, okay? Because if you're going to talk trash to someone who is the number one ranked player in rank in, in Apex, you better be ready to back it up. You don't want to poke wait, the Wait, 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 wait. He did say... I'm not going to talk smack, but we'll put him down. That's what he said. And that's, I, saying, that's, that's not, like saying, I'm not going to talk smack, but sm I'm talking smack. That's not smack talk. That was just simply like shout, like, that was basic confidence. That's what we're going to call it. Yeah. I'm going to put them down. Let's play the game, okay? But when it comes down to playing a the game, they're not playing alone. This isn't just we, the people, going up against Super Evan. They got some awesome NFL teammates also. So let's take a look at them as we're going to have Bobby Okereke on your screen, linebacker of the New York Giants as we saw the New York Giants have a, you know, kind of good game this week. He'll put up a fight there. And uh, as you see there, when it comes down to his good facts, awarded the 2014 Watkins Award, which recognizes exceptionally talented African-American male athletes who, by their example, help promote high academic standards wow. and a commitment to the community service. That's extremely that. impressive. Definitely is, okay? I love a man for his community. Now, also on his team is going to be Deion Dawkins, offensive tackle of Buffalo currently. Now, was named the Bills nominee for the 2022 Walter Payton Man of the Year Award and also a man of service for his community. We know when it comes down to the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, definitely a big honor to be nominated for that in the NFL. Now we move along over to Team Swag here. You got Josh Downs, wide right receiver um, of the Indiana Colts here, rookie this season, and his father Gary and uncle uh, Drabley also played Played in the NFL. Wow, it runs in the family. It definitely does. Now, we'll see if gaming runs in the family, but I do know exactly. confidence runs in the family because we already heard him earlier on. Now, he isn't the only one. We got in the building today. You saw him on the stage. Travius Hodges Tomlinson, the cornerback here of the LA Rams rookie this season, and he won the Jim Thorpe Award, um, an award given to the best defensive back in college football as a senior last year. And so you go from being the best defensive back out there to being a rookie on the LA Rams, and you can see that confidence in his face. He's ready to play, and um, you know we'll see if he'll be able to, you know, lock down we the people on the other side. Yes, I'm very excited for these games today, but I do have to say, mm -hmm. Team TG, I mean, they are stacked they are. this week. They are very <laughs> stacked this week. Not, I, not just a good Apex player, but the number one Apex player. I mean, making yourself yeah, cute for video this, games okay? is dedication. Like, if we got channel points popping off, okay, you, you put them on Team TG, okay? Even if you get a little bit back, it's a good bet. But if you love, if you want to, you know, Take a, take a wild one, go for Team Swag, you know, because we don't know what to expect coming out of Joss and Travis, but they did say that they played the game before, and I, I know. was right. I think this is one of the first times where everyone on the stage has gotten down in Apex, and it just shows how popular of a game Apex Legends is. Well, you guys in chat should let us know who you think is going to take the win here. And while you're at it, we're also doing a giveaway with our wonderful pistachio. So let us know what your favorite flavor is in the chat. And Guy, 
We, I mean, do we have to hit this this topic again? No, we don't got to. Choosing I think, a different, uh, I think, a different flavor this week. I think week? the chat knows how we rock around here, okay? Avery loves the salt and vinegar. I do. I love the traditional shell, you know? I like to, you know, work hard for those pistachios out there, you know? If not, I'm going to be salty, get a little vinegar on it also. But uh, we got plenty of awesome flavors out there. But, hey, make sure you let us know in the chat. And also, take a look at that link, okay? Because I'm pretty sure you guys can win yourself some pistachios out there the mind to direct you in the right place all right so we're seeing the players here gearing up communicating with each other trying to get on the the same playing field the same level here and hopefully our gamers are teaching our nfl players necessary tools because as we saw last week mm -hmm. uh terrell didn't exactly know how to use the controller so oh, hopefully... Terrell, yeah terrell he got down okay like well he, he was the hype man terrell was the official hype man okay but now we are off our first official showing of Apex Legends here on NFL TNG. And I'm excited for it. As you see, it's gonna be first to 50. I'm gonna be playing um, two games here, okay? And it's Apex all day as we're currently on board with TNG Player One. That's gonna be We The People with the EVA 8 shooting through those Bangalore smokes and He's looking to just kind of rack up these kills. I saw he got a new controller in too today, Avery, just so oh he was my. on his game. So, you know, he, he rocking with that battle so beaver today. Well, you can tell he does not miss. Well, let's tune into the team Small comms and see what our players are saying to each other. Oh, shit. Good, Raya. Now. Okay, we the people getting some good shots in with that uh, flat line there up top. Now, you take a look at their team comp, too. He's going to be out here with Bangalore, which is going to be nice for TDM. He's going to be able to utilize those smokes and those uh, thermals as well. Also, you're going to have a Pathfinder for Dion, and you're going to have a uh, Caustic for Bobby. So, awesome team comp for them. Now, they do have three other teammates of awesome fans yeah, I'll, I'll on each squad win. that's well, been oh, playing, I, I, so I, I no to no, fill no. out these 6v6 yeah, rosters. Yeah, I think we the, we the blue team. Yeah, we down 7-0. to zero. <laughs> Yeah, you heard Evan calling that now out there. Now they're, they're down 8-0. to zero. Oh, shit. There's some heat about that. Bro, oh, fucking kill me I again from my no accident. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. I got one. Let's go. Give me that. Oh. <laughs> Evan putting bro. one up on the board here. Hey, this game cap, bro. <laughs> this game cap, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> nah. nah, folks is crazy in this shit. Nah, you hit him. He said you the number one Apex split. I'm over trying to do. Which one? Uh, <laughs> he on the other scene. It's, it's the hey, Bangalore. He plays this game. Oh! Hey, play me in Call of Duty, bro. You wouldn't say no if people stand a chance. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't, I ain't ever dug smoke, but I'm trying to. Man, these two. <laughs> it's hey, super happy. You can on, hear him. He bro. says, man, see me in Kai. I gotta give me a okay? kill, bro. He was I like, can't you go nice in Apex. I got the only kill right now. Sure. We the people puked just to play Kai. Did Evan this, puke just to play Kai? I don't like, think so. <laughs> she, I don't even know where to look. What did I just do? Who the fuck is shooting? No. Like, where, where are them shots coming from? Mr. This Ripple, is this Team Deathmatch, so it's going to be first thing. to 50. It, we got 18 points up on the board. This might be the first time we actually max out for at the, over here. the number of kills. I don't play this stuff. Uh, we're going to see man. a lot of kills get Wait, pulled by these people right I'm now. You know, he's so averaging like about... A kill every like three seconds as you're gonna see this rack up to 20 Shit. here so hey and, you know what i, I see i see okay. team swag oh, getting some kills up on the board as well they've got five not bad it's not bad at all they're, they're honestly kind of catching their flow see the thing is is that when hey, you're playing against a, a, a talented player like we the people <laughs> hey. it's gonna take you a second to get used to the pace of the game right so as this goes we'll longer i do expect more kills to come up for team swag oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Hey, say, Josh, you got a kill yet? Hell no. Nah. Oh, come on, I ain't got no kill. Oop, like, bro, they up oh, top. Friendly bro. fire. They keep, they keep getting me from up top, bro. 
No, I gotta get right. They're there. gonna need some character changes, probably. You're gonna need like a shake. Horizon on this squad, a Pathfinder. They need some verticality, but they're just stuck on the ground. Good right hand. And for anyone out there who's thinking like, man, you know, we'll love to see Weeda people play a nice wig. That is on the schedule. It is on the schedule. Because I was thinking it too. <laughs> All right. Some good shots coming out there from Dion Dawkins and Bobby. As you know, they're doing a good job holding their own. Locking things down, you know, we the people still on a rampage just running all over the map. I would love to just take a look at his POV so we can, you know, get a good display of, you know, how some Apex TDM should be played. And this is what it's like to be the number one Apex player. Yeah. You're like, getting the first person view of what this is truly like to just yeah, be let's get an back absolute in animal yep. on the game. Bring the noise, Tearing boys. Bring easily. the noise. Take it home. Uh, there's a bunch We're of them passing at the, the halfway right mark. A little yeah, bit past the halfway mark here. Only 17 kills left to take the victory. Yeah, they're making this look like his child's play right now. Getting inside the train station. You know, I have to respect Evan's team, though, and Evan himself. His accuracy is on point. It really is just the abilities that you know, makes a huge difference in a game like Call of Duty versus Apex. So we're seeing his skill is there to have precision aiming, as he said in his intro video. Ooh. But unfortunately, the ability is really throwing him off here. I also think that, like, going into the next game, Evan needs to let his teammates know, you know, um, to, to pick some better legends, you know? I don't see Lifeline being, you know, as useful, you know, yeah, to him right here. Especially, like, they need, like, a Horizon on their squad, maybe match up with the cost to get some more gas now, you know? Right. You know. I can definitely agree with that. If you're playing Battle Royale style, you know, having a healer is super important. But here in Team Deathmatch, oh, that it's not really enough time me, to recoup. To set me up. Uh, I don't think We The People has died. I don't think he has any deaths on the board. I would be curious to know if he has or not. Either way, 24 kills. Ah! <laughs> Great play. <laughs> Melted. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed there with that car. Now he's playing with the R301, which is also my favorite weapon. And the R99 as well. Yeah, Josh gonna have to move around right there, okay? Josh Downs can't be standing still. Can't be standing still. All right, three more kills. You know, go, uh, 99 is a big favor of mine. You know, I like the 301. You know, I get down with the flat line. Um, you know, you got to have a good variety oh, of guns, especially when it comes down to a battle royale that you can utilize in any situation. But uh, we're definitely seeing this 301 get put to use and these flat lines. One more kill really to go nice here for Team PG in his first map. And they're going to lock it up right now. Let's go. Easily. Yeah. That's a first game victory there. Team well, PG. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What did I say? Hey, we the people. They took it down. You know, I, I told y'all I'm going to be going for Team Swag out there, OK? It's just I love a good underdog story. I do, too. I, you know, I do. But I think from the interviews and just mm -hmm. from the statistics there, we kind of knew what was going to happen before it happened. We did. We did. We truly did. OK, but there's something to take away from that. OK, Team Swag, they just learned a valuable lesson. OK, <laughs> and hopefully with the valuable lesson they learned in that butt kicking, that they can go into game number two and make the right adjustments. A few legend changes. Yeah. You know, um, you know, maybe a little bit of caffeine. Yes. Yeah, right? A little bit of wonderful pistachios. Those calories could help in this situation. <laughs> like, they're going to have to reset off of that, okay? Because they're lacking something. Um, and they could just be lacking the number two ranked player in the world. You got Travius on your screen. As, uh, you know, he, he was having a good time. But, uh, you know, I didn't see a lot of those bloodhound scans that we needed to out there, but.
looks like all the guys were having fun playing tonight. That's the most important part here at TNG. Right? I think it is. Even though, even though Team Swag did get a little steamrolled, like I said, I have a lot of respect for a player like Evan. Um, he's obviously very accurate with his plays, but uh, when you're up against the number one player, who's probably the most accurate player, it's tough. It's tough. Nah, it is. And so we'll see as they go into the next game. I'm curious if we're going to get a map change. I think we are going to get a map change from um, to, to something else. I don't know exactly, you know, what's on the docket, but we'll see what comes up next. But, uh, you know, but we're going to get some variety here uh, when it comes down to it. So, hey, going to hop back in soon. But uh, we the people looking to go on the spree today. Now, let's go ahead, toss to the stage and um, see what our reporters got to say. Thanks so much, Guy. We're here on the stage because we've got your Carnival Cruise to Victory moment from that first game. And it was a little bit of a sweep for the side of TG. Uh, Phil, I'm not going to lie, but go ahead, take a look at this highlight with me really fast. And this was, I think, picking up those final three eliminations. There was one, there was two. We got the quick little shield battery, but then finding them in the rafters, just we the people absolutely popping up. I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? I'm starting to see why it's the carnival brand. Right? Cause it was a circus on one end, okay? <laughs> Straight up, Lord have mercy. It was entertaining, don't get me wrong. But we got to tighten it up a little bit. Well, that's because we choose bit. fun with Carnival. But yeah, that was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I really hope that with game two, we're going to see a little bit more of life come from Team Swag. But yeah, Well, you know what? It, sometimes it comes down to just getting those jitters out, the warm-ups, you know, all the cliches, if you will, that'll have us still believing that Team Swag's got a chance in this one. All right, you come up with a list of 10 <laughs> more excuses. Yes. While you do that, I'm going to toss it back to the casters. Guys, get us into game two. Thank you so much, Avli. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, it was kind of a circus there, map number one. But hey, it was an entertaining show. <laughs> and thankfully, as uh, Avery said before, you know, they have fun. We yeah. chose fun today. Give them a little bit more time, and, you know, maybe they would have just caught their flow and absolutely dominated. But um, either way, let's take a look at the Little Caesars blooper reel. Oh, we got some fun. You see him? Yeah, I don't know how to ping, though. Yeah, I don't either. Saiku is, can Saikudo see me? Can he see my... Hey, can we agree no building? Can we agree no... Can we <laughs> shit know? on that? Shit, where, where am I? Hey, where y'all at? Okay, in the top right, there's a map. There's a map. Where? I can't even see you guys where you guys are on the map. Is that where it says you guys are this way? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know where I'm going, guys. Terrell, please don't run into the blue again. He, he's headed straight for the... Chad is capping right now. I see the yeses. Guys, I, I don't think he knew that the right thumbstick makes you look around. <laughs> so he couldn't turn. <laughs> he, he carried the team in the spirit. He was so positive, and he made us laugh the most, which I feel like is the biggest win anyway. Maybe if, if it was called Fort Day, I would have won. But it was called Fortnite, so I don't know anything about that. You're 22? Uh, yeah, 22. Did you, did you just forget your own age? I know he's up there. I don't know how to get up there because I don't know how to build. So my ass is walking. <laughs> you don't even know what the game Fall Guys is, and you're going to be playing it here today. No. <laughs> you sent me these amateurs? They don't even know how to play Fall Guys. OK. I'm about to die. 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 They got you a okay. Hey, it's look at how, look at the face scan. They didn't even uh, ask you. They didn't even ask for your picture. Nothing. That's crazy. That's, get there. there you go. Get loose too. Get loose too. Get loose too. Oh, <laughs> Tell him. Oh, Saikuno. say out of anyone we've had on the show i think terrell has had the most energy he no he honestly has even from the most recent episode in which we had him on here as well as uh the play day when yes. he was on your team oh he to was kick off the season that was a really really fun time yeah he was absolutely hyped i mean he was making the calls he was playing the games and we saw him do the exact same thing here on the live stage as well nah. hyping up everyone
No, nah, he really is. He really was last week, okay? Uh, definitely excited to have Terrell's energy back in the studio again one day. But we also have, you know, um, Travius in the building as uh, he's looking, uh, you know, make a few better Bloodhound plays going into the next game. Get a few more scans out there as we're going to change up the map here. But, uh, Should you know, we he... make a prediction on what we think is about to happen? You think these think underdogs are going to, you know, come rise from the from the bottom and come to the top or uh, you know I, I think when you when you got the the man who's embodying that Boston Tom Brady QB energy um, that just left your screen over there and we the people the way that he looked in that first map um, I'm kind of predicting that you know yeah. uh, this may be a quick show today he made it look so easy that's what just amazes me he just made it look like it was just another Another day, another dollar. And, and the simplest way I can put it, and, you know, Chad already knows, is that it's levels to this, man. It is it is levels to it. But I am optimistic because there is someone in the studio today uh, oh. who has been playing a lot of Apex that does get a chance to play We The People. You're not up talking next. about yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, I, you know, I was hey, going to say. Granted, you know, I did bring my controller, but I left it at the hotel. And actually, but I don't even play controller Apex anyway. I play mouse and keyboard, so... You know, I, you know, I could hop down there, but it ain't about me. It's about Aiden, okay? This ain't about me. It's about Aiden being in the studio representing Team Symphony. And um, Aiden's watching right now. He's like, you know what? I want to crack at this, and you're going to get it soon. And as these players gear up for the second game, what are we thinking as far as the Legends? Let's see who we've got here. Um, same Legends here on the side of Team TG. We got We The People playing as Bangalore. We're going to have uh, Bobby O'Karake as Caustic. And we're going to have Dion Dawkins up there as Rafe. So he's going to change from Pathfinder to Rafe this time around. Okay. But, I mean, if I were them, I wouldn't have swapped anything up. But they had so much of a lead so that it might not make a big difference. Well, I will say one thing different from this game to last game is that you know, our first kill came in with, you know, for both teams within the first five, you know, before right. Team Swag didn't get a kill until, like, Team TG was right now, 15 fellas. up. Yeah. Right. Maybe they tapped into something this game. We might watch the underdog story that we've all hoped for. I'm pulling up. Popping a bat. I'm getting yeah. in there. Yeah, they're getting in there for sure. I love his together. And you got, uh, you know, Big Bob himself, Bobby, putting out all these caustic canisters throughout the entire train station. No one's going to be able to get in there. And then even if you can get through one, you're going to have to deal with this car coming out of here from We The People. And so it's a, it's a recipe for success over here for Team TG yet again. But this game is closer from the last. Yep, we've got 12 to 5 here on the board, which is a much smaller gap than it was last time at this point in the game. Like I said, this might be that underdog story we've all been Trace waiting for, but I don't want to speak too soon. Yeah, it's popping out here, fellas. I also love hey, his uh, accent. He has one of the strongest. Uh, a class with an SMG, I, you know, I've never met a man from sure Portuguese who grew up so in Boston. It is so Oh, oh, Portuguese. Portuguese. Yes, he's, yes, he's, the he's language. Portuguese. Yes. He grew up in Brazil, yeah. With that heavy Boston accent. <laughs> no, we can hear Team Swag screaming yeah, in the studio. On the stage. Let's, some, get, yeah, let's get a swap let's over. Let's go, boys. He's bringing the energy. Love to hear those comms. Team TG is just so calm. They are. They're just another day in the office, okay? I hear Travis on the other side of that stage yeah, popping off, alive. getting yeah. super loud. I want to hear the comms of Team Swag yeah. here in just a second. It's coming in right now. Oh. Man. Honestly, Bobby, and the, that's uh, we the, the people just the taking them down. Genius, man. You know, you hear we the people giving uh, Bobby some praise for that caustic pick. The sub that I got is good. 
teamwork is so important in this game. If you can get your legends to use their abilities together, it, it makes such a huge difference. And I think we're definitely seeing that happen right now on Team TG. Yeah, now what as we take name, a look bro. over towards Team Swag, Travy has brought out the lifeline yet again. Load him. You're going to have uh, Josh on a Wraith this time around. Where am I getting shot at? Sit down. Sit down. Like, come on, bro. Come on. All right, Evan, Evan playing the kill. same position on the map as we saw like We The People playing and also getting kills here. That might just yeah, be the, the winning spot. On the specialist? Yeah, effects. It might. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be the winning it. spot, but definitely the safest spot for the end for, for that here. moment. Come here. Now. Yeah. Uh-oh. Bro, I tried to throw a bomb, bro. I don't know what I just threw. <laughs> Stand next to it. It'll heal you. Yeah, it's definitely not a bomb. The complete opposite. Yeah, I don't know what that does, but I'm going to do it. Bruh, keep swinging for what, though? Like, <laughs> bro, come, come on, on, bro. bro. I got to change oh that. Oh, my God. We are 35 to 15. Still a smaller gap than last game, though. <laughs> Yeah, just a bit. Just 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 by by a barging. Um Down. twenty kill Sweet. lead here, now nineteen kill lead. Going up. Alright, team swag, I see you putting in work. Oh, they actually that, really are. I think this they're is way, they like I, I wanna give them their praises because they're doing so much better this game than they did last game. Only you know, it. everyone has found their loadouts, they're oh, doing cool. better Shit. to fight together. There you go, bet on me. You know, Evan got to try to rally oh, his yeah, teammates together and so they can start fighting together just a bit yeah, more. Okay, that's a smoke right but there. they're going to need a little bit more than that. There's somebody. Hey, boy. What's up? Yeah. That was, that boy ran into that me was a great effort. Easy. Oh, yeah, right here, too. Come here. Come here. Uh-uh. No. Come here. Come here, though. I really feel like Evan is and finding his stride here. He's doing a really great job at locating yeah, players, taking great positions on the map, hey, I'm and actually hitting his Dude shots. Yeah, definitely is. I'm not sure about the team communication, Man, though. I haven't heard him no say kill, much. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got, hey, I got, uh, I got Man, still ain't got no kill, bro. Hey, come on, bro. No, I ain't got one. I should have had this dude sitting there. Five points away from the win. Five more kills, five more kills. Hey, we're about to see, we can just pretty much watch Weedy people just throughout the rest of this and watch them go on that spree towards the end, cleaning up these kills. Him and his teammates, they're working well. Now, on the opposite end, Team Swag, they had a player without a kill, you know, Jado. He gonna have to go back to the drawing board, get some practice in for the next time he show up. Hey, this is a hard game to play if you're not a seasoned it, player, I, I especially agree. against someone like We The People. Well, we're only two kills away from right. uh, a wrap here, right here, so. Let's go. One more kill, and there you have it. Back-to-back -back victories there for Team TG as we, the people, absolutely smoke Team Swag and led his squad to victory. You know, I feel bad for Aiden. Maybe this match would have been a more even match if he did go against his rival Aiden because at least Aiden does play Call of Duty as well. That's true, right? I think that that would have been a better one. I think that maybe if... Evan, if Evan played twice, or, you know, actually, no. We, we're going to get the matchups that we want, but Evan versus Aiden would have been great to see today. Um, but Aiden either way, versus We The People is going to be solid. Yeah, either way, got to give it to Team TG. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen them take home many, many wins here on Tuesday Night Gaming. So tonight is just another one in the books for this team. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Uh, so, hey, but the thing is, they get to play twice tonight, all right? So True. they already just went up 2-0, okay? Got two more points uh, added the to board. the tally. Now they're going to have another series coming up soon. So it's a double header for Team TG, and it's a double header for Apex also. So we're yeah. going to have two more maps coming up here in just a bit. Uh, but, you know, we still got to wrap this first series up. As you see, Travius on your screen. Started to vibe there towards the end of the game. He was having fun. You heard him. You heard him here in the in the, uh, in the studio. 
Yeah, they were doing a great job coming together at the end, using their abilities, hitting their shots. It just wasn't enough for the second game. No, it wasn't. You know, if Josh could maybe just, you know, get two assists, maybe three assists, <laughs> you know, things could have been slightly different. Um, but, you know, not just shout out to them, shout out to, uh, you know, all the TNG fans that were able to be on their favorite NFL player squads. You know, we did have six people up in the lobby. Yeah, I'm curious. I would love those... to see a scoreboard, though, towards the end. Got to get a chance to check out that scoreboard later. Yeah, I would love to see where the teams are ranking now. Mm -hmm. Who's who's at the top? But I, I would love to hear from the chat as well. Did your team take home the win just now? Or are you still rooting for your team on a different day for TNG? Because TG does have one more game, but and the thing, fortunately, Swag does not. The funny thing is, too, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, the whole chat is Team TG. Just because the fact is that they are always here when he has to play. Hey, now, they I'm a Super fail. Evan fan, okay? Super Evan is one of my really close friends. That's good. That's awesome. I think hey, I was great. cheering him on on the inside, but uh -huh. I, I knew facts on the outside. But on the inside, you know, I was cheering him on. you're going to have to rally, like, do you have, like, a name for your subscribers? Yeah. What are they? What is it? Avo Squado, because so, my, <laughs> my name is Avery, so. <laughs> the Avo Squado. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, well, I know. we gotta rally them, okay, <laughs> to get in the chat. Uh, but now it is time for your playmaker of the week, the State Farm playmaker moment of the game here. Uh, let's see what we got coming up, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this double kill. Beautiful. Yeah, taking out Josh Downs and Travius right away. One clipped them both. Well, a clip in half for the next one. Let's go. Oh, that was Evan. See, I told you that spot. It's the winning spot. Mm -hmm. He was standing in the same spot that we the people was standing in when he got like a triple kill earlier. Yeah. And Evan was like, look, if that's the spot, let me stand let me, there. Let me get back there. Okay, well, he got back there ASAP. Well, shout out to Evan for that playmaker moment of the game right there. Um, yeah, man, you know, I'm happy he was able to get that because that's going to do it for us seeing him the rest of the day. Um, but that's also going to do it for us for now. Let's toss it down to the stage and see what our host has to say. Thanks so much, Guy and Avery. We're here with the wonderful Pistachios post-game interview with Team TG. Uh, I'm going to give you this. Uh, we the people, you're now We the Pistachios. Uh, congratulations <laughs> with that. That's your mini trophy. How does that feel in your hand? Uh, I love it. Uh, I'm definitely never opening this bag, and I'm probably going to frame it. And... Uh, it's a little trophy, you know, about to crack some nuts. There you go. Well, you definitely cracked some heads in what we just saw. Uh, I got to be honest with you, man. Like, it's funny to hear you come up here before we even came to you and tell us that. I, I don't even know if I played that great. You know what I mean? That, to me, that was a slap in the face a little bit. But you're serious about that. No, I'm... So it was the first time I ever played on like a land setup, you know, like not my own house. So it was a little uncomfortable. Um, game plays out a little different. So I'm not... I'm, I'm happy we won. You right. know, the boys got the W. Uh, it was a good time hanging out with everybody. Uh, but I definitely, I should have turned it up. <laughs> Listen, I mean, you say that you were a little eh in the gameplay, but again, just racking up kill after kill. But also, you've got two squad mates who are also definitely pulling their weight. Bobby and Dion, what do you have to say to, the, to uh, their performance? I mean, Bobby and D, bro, they were, they were holding it down. Uh, Bobby, so it, it's a little unfair. Uh, to Dion, because he plays Bangalore, who's the character I main. So I, I asked him pregame, I was like, dude, any chance I could get him? He was like, bro, team player, hell yeah. Love that. Um, and then, you know, Bobby had the genius pick of uh, picking Caustic. So he was just dropping barrels everywhere he went. And uh, it was it was just easy pickings on, on the enemies, because they would run into the barrels, they would get slowed down by the enemy, our gas. And... Um, you know, just pick them off. Picking them off, man. Picking them off. That's pick it. Off. That's what you got to do, man. Good team unit. You boys said that y'all was going to play as one unit. Definitely delivered on that. Could you tell that this man is definitely ranked one in the world? He's the GOAT. Hey, listen, man. He's the GOAT, and he's trying to be humble, but he's that boy for real. He's that boy. <laughs> I appreciate it, fellas. Hey, listen, I hope to see you guys at the ALGS, man. I'll show you guys around, show you guys some real gameplay, man, because that was nothing like what you see at the ch uh, the championships and whatnot, man. But it was it was awesome meeting you guys, man. You guys are 
hell of a, you know, hell of a group and uh, got to run it up again. Well, you will. You're doing a double header. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, we, we got more games? Again. Cancel uh, that you're Uber. Playing again. <laughs> Come yeah, on now. Say less. <laughs> Let's do it. And you guys are going again. So, I mean, with that, I'm going to let you take a little bit of a breather to get ready for the next game that you're about to play. All three of you. So, uh, thank you for taking the time. And honestly, bathroom break, water break, stretch break. Go do something because you are taking on Team Symphony coming up next. Actually, before we get into that, anything that you got to say to uh, Aiden? To Aiden? Was that who we just played? No, no, you're playing Super Evan. I believe you're taking on Aiden then. All right, well, Aiden, bring it on, man. I've been seeing you on stream playing a little Apex. You know, let's 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 do it. Awesome, you'd love to hear it. All right, you three, go ahead, take a break. I'll take this from you. Thank you very much. Now, for everyone else, we are all going to be taking a quick little break with that too. So get up, stretch, grab some water, uh, type... D did they tell us their Halloween costume in the chat? I don't I, think they I'm did. I'm not sure. I need to, you know what? I'm going to go check after this break. So y'all make sure you go ahead and put that in there for them. We, yeah. we, we nosy, so we need to know. Come on. We need to know. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Sheldon, good to see you. I can see you're upset. But when we said ditch the shells, we were talking about pistachios, not you. Oh, you mean these pistachios? Oh, oh no, you look upset. You OK, John? Can we get some arugula, please? You're on a carnival cruise at Amber Cove. Three generations of Clifton standing hand in hand, ready to push off with those famous Clifton calves leaping into the unknown. Now you're in the water. Together! Welcome back to NFL's Tuesday Night Gaming. We are here now at the halftime report after seeing uh, Team TG have a pretty dominant 2-0 performance over Team Swag. Team Swag is really getting the uh, bad end of the stick, Look, I, I guess you should say. Everybody loves a good underdog story. What they don't tell you is not all the stories are told, okay? And that, oh, might, be, that might be the reason why. We really appreciate them coming through, showing up, and having a good time because that's essentially what it's all about. But Team TG looking unstoppable. Yeah, Team TG has just had like performance after performance where they just come in, kick someone in the face, and then run out with all the points. Whereas Team Swag, I think that they still only have one point on the board for both of their uh, performances mm. on TNG so far. Which Got some is work to do. Not great. Got some work to do. Yeah, but again, this is the first time that we're seeing this format. This is the first time that we're seeing a team, Team TG, yeah. take on two different teams in one day. Correct. And with we the people leading uh, the squad at the helm in Apex of all games, I, I don't know. Do you think the team's... Oh, actually, take a look at this. We have our standings right in front of us. Team TG with six points at the top of the leaderboard, potentially going to pick up two more today. Or is Team Symphony, who is second place behind them at four points, are they going to be able to rack up some of those points and take them away and maybe claw back uh, their way to the top of that standing? But Team Cypher, Cutie Cats, three points. Alley Cats, two points. And Team Swag, as I said, one point. Honestly, you know, uh, depending on how things unfold today, you could definitely maybe see a log jam at the top of that leaderboard very possible for team symphony to pick up some very uh crucial points right here or maybe team tg as you said obviously just runs away with it and captures a total of eight and just they're just feeling really good going into the following additional weeks i mean there's really so many ways can go down i'm just eager to see it go down yeah if team tg was to pick up two more points they'd really just solidify their position at the top yeah. it doesn't matter like when they would potentially play next because team symphony is then going to be uh, left with that weight of oh my gosh i have to rack up points really fast and right now feels so like i'm competing for second place oh, you know exactly. what i mean you don't want to do that mm, if you ain't first you're last Absolutely. Now let's go ahead and meet the leader of Team Symphony, who's going to be trying to take down Team TG and we the people today. It's going to be Aiden. Hello, I am here with Aiden. Hello from Team Symphony. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm excited to be here, man. S good. Excited to rep Team Sim. Absolutely. Mm. Season two now for you, huh? Yeah, season yeah, two. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Season one was a blast. So let's talk about your gaming history. What was the first right. game you ever played? First game I could ever remember playing was probably like Mario Kart on the N64. Woo! 
<laughs> yeah, my family, you know, we played N64. I, I played a lot of games. Uh, that and like SOCOM on PlayStation, another competitive shooter. Dang. So those are like my two games coming up. Okay, a SOCOM I can definitely see. I was yeah. not expecting the Mario. Uh, personality check, who was your main on Mario 64? I go Wario because, oh, because listen, <laughs> listen. As a kid, you don't get to, you know, you don't get to pick, you know, what character you want. All the good ones got taken first. So sure. I was like, you know, I was just a little chubby little Aiden eating triple whoppers. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna pick Wario. No one, no one gives Wario any love. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but he was him. fine. Yeah, it's yeah, all good. So cool. <laughs> the transition into shooters. Yeah. How'd that happen? When did you know that these are the games for me? So, like I said, I started off on SOCOM mm -hmm. and I kind of played like early Call of Duty. I played all the Call of Duties growing up. And I would say for a kid, I was pretty good like on SOCOM. Uh, my dad would always get me into like his clan battles and I would mm. always destroy his clan. They thought I was hacking. Um, so <laughs> his, yeah, his clan would never let me play with them even though he was a part of it. Mm. Uh, so I just knew I was pretty good, you know, growing up and uh, I just kept playing Call of Duty. I put in a lot of hours and here I am today. How do you feel about your squad? You guys have a lot of history, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I have a lot of t chemistry with my team. Like I've met them in person. I've played mm. games with them all the time, so. I think that's definitely something we're gonna use to our advantage, you know, going forward. Yes, yes. Now, many have referred to your team as the try-hard team. Mm. Okay, got a lot of esports guys have in there. They? Yeah, yeah, a lot wow. of other people. You know, they're more personalities. Okay. I mean, I'll take that. I mean, I think it's a compliment. I'll it take is? It. Yeah. yeah. And gaming, of course. The yeah. try-hards are the most respected. Yeah, I'll take that. Great. USAA, uh -huh. you were in the military? No, my grandpa was. He passed membership to my mom, then me. Huh. Yeah, if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served, they could pass it to you. I'll check it out. Yeah. USAA, for the military community and their families. I heard every time you order Little Caesars during the Pizza Pizza pregame, you score a fun perk. And I heard Justin Jefferson is the most handsome receiver of all time. Yeah, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. No, I heard people say it. Order pizza and Pepsi online on game day for a chance to win Super Bowl 58 tickets. Pizza Pizza. All right, well, always a pleasure hearing from Aiden. Nothing but hysterical, to say the least. So I know you guys are going to be eager to see him play for sure. But obviously, he's not doing it alone. He's got a team with him, a team behind him. And we're going to go ahead and introduce that team right now for you guys to take a look at. So as the captain, I have crafted quite a crack squad. We've got Aiden. I would consider myself a Battle Royale expert. Nice wig. I play Apex Legends, not competitively anymore. I am retired. TP. I think we're be uh, one of the top squads for sure. We also have Brooke. They're talented gamers. You know, they're very good at their jobs, and I'm there, so that's about it. <laughs> we're probably, I think, one of the most well-rounded teams by far. Yeah, I think having competitive experience as a squad will kind of give us the upper edge in tense scenarios. Nice wig travels to Europe. I've played Aiden on land. TP, Call of Duty professional for many, many years. We know we're better than the other teams. We're just gonna go in confident. That's, that's really it, nothing else to it. Secret weapon's gotta be Brooke. Maybe they, maybe they overlook her a little bit. To be a member of Team Symphony, you really have to be talented at gaming. It takes skill determination, a lot of charisma. I don't know why the rest of my teammates are on the team, but that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. With our crack squad, we're ready to destroy Courage AD's team. Make sure you follow us at Team Symphony. I'll carry. All right, well, we know that they got the entertainment. We know they got the skills. And we know they're in the building as well. So it's time to meet Team Symphony.
smooth as it gets. Oh. Smooth as it gets. I thought that was good, man. That was good. That was hello, planned. Hello, welcome. That was planned. That was planned. That was planned? Yeah. I'll buy it. It looks real. We talked about it. We talked about it. We're like, do this. It'll look like, you know, it'll be a little bit embarrassing, but, you know, when we come out and dominate him in the game, it all makes sense. Yeah, that's I it. like that. Now, when he first told you that plan, what was your reaction? Yeah, hey, I was like, I'm, I'm just leaning on you, bro. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Let him run it up. Let him run it up. Well, I, I'm really excited for this, this team. Um, obviously, Aiden, you the homie for real. You the homie for real. I know you're an FPS god, and you got two legends with you. You know what I'm saying? My boy Hunter, my boy Ryan. I think it's going to be a good show. Yeah, I mean, I watched uh, I watched that first team play. It wasn't looking so good. I think we'll definitely put up a better show than that. So. Oh, really? I can't help but notice that you've also uh, brought your own controller. I got, I, got, I got my baby wrapped up right here. My baby. Oh, he's not playing. What's the design that we see on the side of it? You want to give the camera a little yeah. close-up of that? Let me get this little port off here. Now, did you bring your own personal controller? No, I didn't. I, I should have. I actually. Oh, come on, Ryan! I was playing the game a little earlier. I actually should have brought it, you know, but I didn't bring it today. All this right. is this is my actual like my logo. So I have my own my own controller. Okay. Yeah. So this is yeah. This is a little this is my this is my pride and joy right here. I ain't got that much sauce. <laughs> he knows about Brandon. I respect that. No, that's pretty. Now now, do you sell those? You want to plug that? Yeah, yeah. You, you want to plug that real quick? Yeah, you can get them on the Scuff website. You can get all sorts. You can get the Xbox One, the PS5 One, the PS4 One. Yeah, it's a beauty. Man, I absolutely love that. Now, I do have to say, I know that you uh, play a lot of Call of Duty, uh, but we are playing Apex here today. And on your team of Team Symphony, Nicewig is also on that roster. Do you think that they should have put Nicewig uh, mm. in this squad today to go against We The People, or do you think nah. that will have a good showing? No, nah, I can guard him. I can guard him for sure. I've been playing Apex. You know, I've, I've been putting in some time. So, uh, you know, I don't want to give away our strats, but we might be farming the NFL players today. Yeah. I targeting them, you know? I respect that a lot. Now, Hunter, I want to talk to you for a minute because I know you know about, listen, you came in with Miami, you're on the Rams now. You know about good weather, okay? You're lucky for that. Do you know about Apex? I know a little bit. I know, I know a little bit. A little I've bit? Played, I've played before. Haven't played in a while. I'll be on mouse and keyboard, uh, hopefully hopefully locking down for the squad. So you're looking here for him to inspire some confidence in you to help you lock it in? Yeah, yeah. We, we got his back. I think this is going to be a team effort. The team's going to lock it down. Come for sure. Dominant win. Love it. And Aiden, did you have any uh, tips or tricks to impart on your two teammates before you jump into today? Uh, I think we're just going to play together. I think, um, I don't know really how much experience exactly they have in Apex, but I think if you just stick together, it just helps a whole bunch. Even, you know, if you're skilled or not skilled at all, we'll probably just run as a unit and see what we can do. Don't worry about skill with Ryan, okay? It's a multiple time pro bowler right yeah. here. Best linebackers the Steelers ever did see, yeah. okay? <laughs> he got the sauce. You ain't got to worry about him. that. I got you, brother. Come on now. You know it. Now, I think one last thing to point out before you three go ahead and take to your booth. Uh, you guys are the first full team that we've actually had in the building. So right now, you three have the numbers advantage over we the people over there. So I'm just saying, if maybe halfway through the game, one of you guys wants to run over, break his keyboard, do this something. Is, this is called a passionate squad right here, all right? He's going to see <laughs> us over there, and he's going to be like, wow, my team's not here. Like, they're not here for me. He's just he's going to be thinking about that the whole game. Break his spirit before it even starts. Yeah, exactly. Aiden. Hunter, Ryan, I got a good feeling about this. Make 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 some music, my guys. Make some Absolutely. music. Absolutely. Well, go ahead, get set up. Best of luck to you three. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Oh my gosh, that's a fun team. That is a fun team. A lot of confidence right there. They're chill too. They're not like, you know what I'm saying? They're not overly confident. You know, we're gonna handle business. I like that. I don't know the fact that he brought in his own controller and plugged it. Go ahead and pick up your own if you're a fan of Aiden. Um, I, I really like this squad. I'm, I'm feeling something in the air. You know what I'm saying? Well, at the very least, it can't be any worse than the last game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it, Trey, if you're still here, please cannot. don't come back. I'm sorry. Well, no, he might, be, he might be somewhere backstage waiting for you. But listen, <laughs> we got all the players. They're in their seats. Uh, they're, they've got their controllers at home. So all that's left is to jump into the action. So let's toss it on up to Guy and Avery. Uh, who do you think is going to take this fight? I got to be honest. I'm ready for this to go down. OK, <laughs> because after we saw the last series, they asked Aiden, they said, hey, you got this? Are you going to be OK? And Aiden simply said, with the most confidence in the world, oh, I can guard him. 
<laughs> I love I that. I can guard him. Don't worry. It's going to be a different game. I felt that. Did you feel that in the chat? Because I felt that. Remember last week, it was Aiden, 1v3 in Fall Guys. Nobody thought he could do it, and oh. he came out on top. That boy's a gamer. He's a gamer. Okay. And if we anyone can do it, Aiden he, can. We the people said he even saw him play. He was watching him play this week. But this is also the kicker that we need to take into account. We the people said this is the first time he played on land. OK, mm. this is the first time he played outside of his home. OK, on another setup for real. Aiden do this all the time. They did both bring their own controllers, though. They did. I, I saw We The People also had his controller, so they came prepared. And then also Aiden said that he did do some training in Apex. We all know he's a Call of Duty player, so, you know, you have to train a little bit, at least in Apex, if you're going to try and take on someone like We The People, okay? You and know, the little salt and vinegar, you get a little bit of that. A little, a little seasoning fingers. on the let fingers. Me, let me take care of this while we look at our NFL players up here on Team Symphony. <laughs> there we go. Get up in there, all right? Because we got Ryan Shazer in the building. Graduated in December 2020 at his alma mater, Ohio State University. NFL legend out here. You already heard his praises on the stage, you know, um, linebacker Pittsburgh Steelers back in the day doing his thing. Legend out there. He has a crazy story, too, which hopefully we'll we'll talk about later. Oh, I would be happy to talk about it. But he's going to be playing alongside Hunter Long, OK? And this squad is going to help round out Team Symphony alongside Aiden. And he was a tight end and defensive end in high school. But here in the league, he has been shifted on over towards that offensive position. Um, drafted in 2023. Or was he? I think he may have been drafted in 2022 because he did do a season with Miami or he got drafted this year. Went to Miami, didn't get traded. Nonetheless, happy to have Hunter in the building. And we'll get a chance to see him go up against MMG today in our Madden Show match. So it'll be a fun time to chat with him. Oh, yeah. Super exciting. And for those of you guys that didn't know, Ryan Shazier, uh, one of our NFL players, the one that we just covered mm -hmm. here, he actually had an injury that he was supposed to be paralyzed from. And I actually got a little bit yeah. emotional watching him walk on stage. It is a miracle that he's even able to walk. He completely beat the odds. So let's see if he can beat the odds tonight. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if he can. Okay, shout out to him. And, you know, I do remember hearing that story about Ryan. And, yeah. And, you know, it, it was a miracle. And But it just shows that, you know, his toughness and what he can overcome. So, you know, we're happy to have him today so we can have some fun in the Tuesday Night Gaming Studio. And, I, you know, I am actually very confident in this Team Symphony Me too. squad. You know, like, they're all three together, so Aiden gets to look on over and say, hey, pick this character, pick that guy, look at his teammate exactly. screen, see if they're getting, you know, pressed up by we the people so Aiden can come save, save the day. And they have a strategy. Focus on the other NFL players out there. Farm them. Yeah. So Aiden knows the key to victory. This may be closer than our first set. I know. I am a little worried because he did give away kind of their strategy, which was to gang up on the NFL players and take them out knowing don't be, that. Don't be Avery because they can't do nothing about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able it's, to stop it. It's true. The maps are small. But at the same time, it does make me a little nervous. It's like that one little ounce of, you know, hope that they had to take the win and use this strategy and, you know, put it forth. Yeah. He might have just given that away. Uh, you know, if, if we the people in them are able to count on that, the only way that they can count on that is kill Aiden. Like, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to take down Aiden, take down we the people, the two best in the lobby. And then you got to hope that the other five players are evenly matched and they can kind of hold their own and then also too we the people in Aiden you know outside of fighting each other they got to save their teammates so yeah true it's gonna, do you go on a hunt or do you play a little defense it's gonna come down to who can get that early lead true but I did see Dion actually playing really well too so if they do end up targeting the NFL players I mean how do we know that Hunter and um, Shazier can even yeah hold up to the play level of Dion and Bobby. I mean, m maybe not Bobby, but at yeah. least Dion. Well, yeah, we'll we'll see if they can. Uh, it's definitely gonna be more. It's that it's gonna be closer than our than our first set. Uh, I think that uh, when it comes down to it, if Hunter can shoot straight mouse and keyboard, because he said, "Hey, I'm playing M and K," and that kind of you know gave me an inkling that he may have played some first person True. shooters before, you know. And so even if it's like a a, a CS or a Valorant. Um, or even an H1Z1, he has that aiming potential. I, I, so I think he's Hunter... He's seen Master Race. Who's I, with me? Who's with me in the chat? 
I, I can't even I can I can't even get down with you like that because you know I grew up on Xbox, but you know I know a good bet when I make one. You know okay, I know I, okay. I, I, PC Master Race is it. I get it. I get it. I don't even feel like arguing with y'all today. Okay. Hey, I respect people that can play on controller. I learned on PC, mm -hmm. and when I pick up a controller, I'm I look like Terrell last week. You know, you start seeing PC Mass Race, I start dropping down. Have you heard about Xbox Game Pass? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I have. I have. So, that's the only counter I think I got to PC Mass Race. Um, well, what do you guys think in the chat? Who's taking home the win here? I mean, regardless, Team Symphony has immaculate vibes in the studio with all three of them here. But who's taking home this win? It's hard to go up against We The People. It, oh, it, it is. is. It is hard, especially like the way you played last time. But you know what? I'm a man who loves to make bets, okay? All right. I'm doubling down. Oh, snap. On, on Aiden. Okay. Repping Team Symphony. Aiden is coming out here. He got to get the scoop right before. He knows what he wants to do. Yeah, he going up against We The People. Yes, it should not happen. But I believe. <laughs> I'm excited to see this match. I kind of do wish, though, that we were able to see Super Evan and Aiden play each other because, you know, they have a rivalry already. And I feel like the playing field is a lot more level with two Call of Duty players. Yeah, I think Su <laughs> Super Evan versus Aiden would have been very entertaining if we got like a little Fall Guys Rocket League matchup between them two or that would be very entertaining. Yeah. We'll be there for that one. I love this map, by the way. So much greenery. It's beautiful. But let's see if our players on Team Symphony can take home the win. Zero points across the board. Okay, I this see is our first kill here. This is what I want to see right here. I want to see Ryan and how well he was going to be able to shoot his gun. He's playing Wraith. He knows when not to battery, knows when to look around. You know, we got Aiden up there close. We got a new map here as well. So I'm here for it. Close game, too, as well. Just a one-kill differential. Tie game yeah, now. Yeah, two to two. I think Aiden's team had the lead to start it off, too, as well. Hey, this is already looking better than our last matchup. It is. And so Ryan's going to be playing Pathfinder. It's going to be Hunter on the Wraith and then Aiden on the Bloodhound. So I'm actually surprised to see Aiden on Bloodhound. But you know what? I think he, he knows that he wants to utilize these scans. Oh, and look at that. Ryan's able to pick up a kill there on the outskirts. So wow. Team Symphony. You no, know, I think our NFL players were uh, being humble. That was actually very accurate shooting. It was. And so just so you guys know, Team Symphony will be orange and Team TG will be blue. We got Team Symphony five to seven here. Six to eight. All right. I really feel like they have a chance here. Definitely a lot closer than it was before, for sure. So, two kill differential, uh, Team TG up. Yeah, now play. we're gonna go into a little team listening and kind of start hearing these comms coming out from yeah. Team Symphony. I do want to hear how is Aiden gonna be be guiding them, right? Like what type of tips and advice he's giving? Hunter got a text. <laughs> I saw that too. Hunter, oh when you God. die, you respawn. Oh Who is this? Who is TG player one? That's, uh, that's the guy that plays, like, a good amount. Who is I think he's talking one? about We the People. Yeah, that's We the People. He said that's the guy that uh, that's, um, plays a decent, hefty amount of this game. Yeah, he's the one that doesn't casual. get off. Just the number one ranked player in the world. Uh, he's going to be using that Havoc, too. So he's going to be looking up for running these kills real quick. Hey, but I, I think so far their strategy is working. Yeah. Oh, it is. Look at them. They're like a wolf. The kill, gap, the kill gap is much less than it was last game now. I say that, and we're seeing lots of kills go up on the board. No, man, that Bloodhound's won. That was, uh, I think that was a little Aiden versus We the People trade that we saw there a second ago. And that's exactly what you need hey, to do. I, I want to see more of that. And so, but we saw We the People going a nice little spree right there. It was about six kills in a row. And the score differential has already gotten cut and down by three. So Team Symphony is keeping this one close, not letting it spiral out of control. So We the People are going to have to stay focused in this one and just get in uh, Bullets Return. 
Hey, we saw what happened last week when you get too comfortable at that winning position. So hopefully Team TG doesn't get too comfortable because that could be detrimental. Could be. Could be. You got Dion on your screen, flatline in hand, looking to get over there towards the action as soon as possible. Five kill lead here for Team TG. We're going up to 50. Bangalore is definitely the character you want to have on this map. At least two Bangalores, okay? Double the smokes. You got a plenty of weapons that have thermals out there. You want to find a character that got some skins. Oh, look at that. 180 turn and downed him. That L Love to see that. That L-Star is so powerful. It is. And so, you know, the team comps look a little bit better in this game than we saw the last one. We're going to see the highest lead we've seen in the start of our last three games with a lead of eight. Already dropping down. Eight isn't too far off to actually come back from, though. We, we do have... Well, as soon as I said that. <laughs> okay, now they're at a 10-point lead. That's all right. Still not too far to come back from. I'm really rooting for them at this point as well. I, I've seen the team synergy. I've seen the communication. If they just put a little bit more effort into it, I think they could do it. There's no way, I think way, they can get though. it done, too, as well. Ryan is in disbelief how fast he's getting melted anytime he goes up against We The People. Oh, I see how to uh, switch your thing. Yeah, check out uh, your... Uh, I, I see how to switch your loadout. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah we do need a few loadout fun. switches because I think these players need to get those R99s out, especially Aiden. Hey, can hey, I just right point there. out, Hunter is doing a great job is hitting his foot? shots. <laughs> All right, Aiden did switch his loadout. He's gonna have the R99 vote. That's such a powerful weapon yeah. to be able to have. Being oh able to God, see oh, where your cool. enemies are on such a tiny map like this, it's so useful. It is, it is. But, uh, you know, it seems like towards the midway portion of this game, Team TG found their footing. Cool. And they they're just inside. on a spree. They really are. Yeah, I think they've they've been uh, on like spawns. a maybe what spawns fourteen to again. two run. But I don't want uh, Team Symphony to yeah. get discouraged. Yo, how look at this double L star for we the people. Talk about some cheese. Some of that Boston cheese. <laughs> I love hearing his call outs with a thick Boston accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna try my Boston accent right now. I don't know, I need none of my Boston friends to be mad at me. But uh, you see him, even with long range on the L-Star, he's got two of them to utilize. He's just making sure, most importantly, his opponent can't, can't even get this gun. So, you know, he's playing it right. Picking up a few more kills around the map. Nine, make that eight Looks more like needed for Team TG to close Coming out this deep. first map in this uh, best of two set. Not, well, it's not best of two, but it's two games set. Two games. But hey, I, I kind of feel like this is a little bit unfair. I mean, We The People is the number one player, and so not only that, right. but he's had two games before oh. this to warm up with his team. Oh, yes, he did. And so that? he's already nice and warmed up, nice and ready to go. And I'm pretty sure he's played a lot more Apex this week than anyone else here oh. in, in the lobby. Like, you got to if you want to hold that number one rank. True. We are nearing the end. Only four kills away from a victory for Team TG. I don't want to speak too soon, but oh, man, it looks like twice. that might be happening quickly. 15 kill lead, make it 16. A lot closer than our first set. But as we're watching We The People pick up the 48th, and soon, the 49th. Actually, this is Aiden, I think, on the other side, trying to fight him. Let's go, but it doesn't boys. matter. His teammates are able to get those kills, and they remain undefeated as they pick up their third game of the day in the doubleheader. Team TG, yet again, on top. Well, congrats to Team TG. Aiden did say he's a battle royale expert. Who knows if the results would have been different had this been battle royale instead of team deathmatch. But either way, 
the win is gonna go mm -hmm. to Team TG. For this one, for this, for this one. one. Like I, I, I think that Aiden in his mind, he's just like, all right, that's cool, let's go again, okay? You're gonna, yeah. you're gonna play this guy, you're gonna play this guy. Like he wants to come away with at least one win, because he feels like yeah. even if he doesn't 2-0, we the people today, if he splits this one to one, that's a victory for him. Right, right. And fortunately, we do have a, a cutoff here at a max of two games because I know for a fact that Aiden is definitely the just one more game. Yeah, just right. One let's, more game. Let's break the tie, okay? But get the first one on the board first, and then you can break the tie on your own streams. You know, hey, set up I set up a little community TDM. You know, I, I can hop in then. After seeing how they performed, I, I wouldn't put it past them. It just a little bit more team synergy and they might be able to take home the, the second victory. Yeah, just a second little bit Second game more. victory. Just a little bit more, okay? And luckily for them, they can just put their controllers down, look each other's in the eye, and just have that conversation in the venue uh, and try to get on the same page as soon as possible as they get ready for their second game coming up here soon. Um, but I like, you know, hey, it was more entertaining than the first set. It actually was. It was very, very close in the beginning. We started to see a little bit of gap happening in the middle of the game. And then ultimately, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever you want to say, we the people just dominated. He had so many kills on the board there. He definitely did. But as we get the second game set up, it's time to toss down to the stage with our host and hear what they got to say. We the people, we the pistachios, we the please have mercy on the rest of the teams playing <laughs> Apex here today, Phil, dear Lord. Uh, you know, there's something to be said about not just having the confidence, but backing it up as well. And I think we the people has been the perfect uh, embodiment of that. I give credit, of course, to Bobby and uh, D on his team as well. They've all been holding it down. But man, this is a squad that is definitely putting up some numbers. They're not even in the studio. More than half of them, they're not present in studio, but you can damn sure find them on the field. Come on now. We got to check. Is someone else like playing for them at home? Like maybe they're like hiding under the desk. That's They've got a separate monitor going. I don't know. Man, we're we're going to have to look <laughs> into this. But listen, we also have a highlight pulled from that game for our Carnival Cruise to Victory moments. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And of course, I mean, listen, it was a little bit closer. It was yeah. a little bit, you know, back and forth here. But look at that just oh my cutting Lord. down the competition. That was just back and forth, back. You know, it's the, the rock the boat, if you will. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The way you kind of let that thing flick. It's it's pretty insane. But I will say this, obviously. I felt like, especially towards the start of it, I felt it was a little closer. I felt like, OK, yes. even in a loss here, I feel like there's still a chance. They're, stu they're in studio together. They're still very calm, still in great spirits. Over there having a powwow right now. What can we do better to make sure we take this game number two? I'm gonna tell you, first we go ahead and we take a look back at that uh, at that highlight because that was your Carnival Cruise to Victory moment presented by Carnival. You take that, you learn from it. Mm -hmm. And I think the Team Symphony, as you said, they were getting closer, they were getting closer. It was a little bit more back and forth. I feel like, I mean, we, we were looking over at Ryan and Ryan was going like, my controller wasn't working. Uh, was it? Or, and that's when I start like, to say, you should have brought your own controller. Exact. Learn from Aiden. <laughs> Maybe Aiden should have brought controllers for everyone. There you go. Well, you already know who's going to bring the hype for everyone. Our casters, and they're standing by. We'll send it back up. Thank you so much, uh, Phil and Avila. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to do our best to continue bringing this hype because, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, our players sometimes, you know, they can question their controllers, but, you know, that's not going to take the heat you out of our cells. You see what's going on over there, though, on the other side of the studio? These gamers, they're teaching their NFL players the strats on both sides. Both of them are down there strategizing. So I am getting even more hyped to watch this play out. Yeah, you know, I, I think that this next game that we get is going to be the closest one that we've had all day. All right, I think Hunter, I think Ryan, they're going to be locked in. They're competitors, OK? Mm -hmm. They don't want to, you know, go down 0-2. But, uh, you know, if they do, Hunter will at least be able to get a chance for revenge later on as uh, he'll be playing in the Madden Show match going up against MMG to close oh, out the true. night. And I don't know if they're going to be playing arcade Madden or regular Madden because last week we did a little bit of a faster version of Madden, which was super fun to watch. So mm -hmm. um, that possibility for more play. So we'll see what we end up deciding to do. And I think it is going to be arcade Madden. So um, good to get that one confirmed. Now, uh, as we go to the stage, I think going to this next game, if we can see the kill feed on one of their screens, I would love to just kind of see the kills and how they're like yeah. kind of racking up per lobby. 
because uh, I know some games our NFL players aren't getting killed, some games they are, but nonetheless, they're having fun. And speaking of people who love to have fun, we got a nice little video which we want to show you guys. Attention, all students. Today, I'm calling on the trendsetters and the underdogs, the disruptors and the slept on. The ones that were told they were too much, too small, too bold, too loud, or not loud enough. In this game, there's a position for everybody. Let's get it. Let's go. Turn me to a superhero. We run and we throw. We jump and we fly. We juke and we jive. We cheer and we play. This game right here is our game. This game! Our game. This game! Our game! Let's play on three! One, two, three! Visit NFLflag.com to make sure you guys can get in on the action so everybody can play. Yeah, they said they have a position for everyone, but what are we going to do with these ramen noodle arms? I, I uh, think with them ramen noodle arms, you can play QB because, hey, if you can throw a dodgeball, you can throw a football. Oh, true. True. I am pretty good at throwing dodgeballs, although I did sit out from playing dodgeball while I was growing up. People in the chat that know me personally can confirm this. When I was growing up, uh -huh. I sat out in PE class playing dodgeball because I felt like I, throwing balls at people was mean. Really? I'm not even kidding. I felt like it was just too, a little bit too savage. Like, why would I want to yeah, like, hurt somebody? Yeah, because I would see like the mean kids throwing it at, you know, and yeah. then I would be like, I don't want to be a part of this. <sighs> you know me? I was Now like, here I am. <laughs> I was the opposite. I wanted to be like me on the Matrix as I'm like on the court just <laughs> the dodge. dodging them one after another. Hell, just trying to one hand catch them. Just be out there like a superhero. Like a ninja. Be casually walking, ball come past. Snag right out Indeed. the air. Like, I will snag that nade right out the air, but unfortunately, you can't catch nades in Apex, but you can catch strays and catch shots. As we see, oh. we the people. We're about to see everyone start catching we the people's bullets is what we're about to see. I agree. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Uh, looking at the team comps, we got some Caustic, some Bangalore, a little Bloodhound. Like this one, we the people going Ooh. on the offensive. Just kill after kill, two kill lead. Just taking them down in, in seconds. You and blink and you're dead. That was a big flank from him. No one else able to get over there and counter him. Hopefully it's not another L star that, that's dropped super early. If not, I think the score is gonna get racked up quickly. Now we're gonna have to see Aiden on the other end match his same speed. Well, it is six to four, so, oh, actually six to five. That's the smallest gap that we've seen on the leaderboard. Oh, tie game. Oh, wow. Me. Got me slipping. You know, I feel it. I feel it from Team Symphony this round. It's hey, eight to seven. To the stay, game is uh, early, but they're ready. We need people giving out some good advice. Stay together. Don't get caught out on your own. Especially, he can probably tell that his opponents are grouped up. Yeah, that is great advice, especially since Aiden's whole game plan is to make sure that the NFL players are the ones that they target. Nice. Oh, a little help there. Oh, Aiden comes in at the right time. But is Aiden going to be able to swing this corner and finish him off? I think he probably went downhill. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Incredible accuracy. Oh, but we the people get some bad bullet there. Nice kill from Ryan. Oh, for a second there, it was 12-12. Now 15-13. This is still a much closer game than we've seen Brother. in the entire night. You know, anytime oh, NFL boy. players can trade out one for one, that's going to be, you know, good for their team captains as they're trying to at least get, you know, two to three kills off of every respawn, you know, off the level of this lobby. All right. Ryan, he Aiden. knows it. Come on, get up. Oh, that's Aiden right there. Yeah, Aiden getting the shots. 
taking him down only three points away still. They're doing a great job keeping up. This is about where we started to see them trail off last game. So let's see if they can keep up the pace, keep up the kills, and take home a win. Oh my gosh, he should not kill me right there, bro. Ryan has actually impressed me with, uh, you know, he's more accurate than I thought he was going to be. And he's doing very, very well, no, no, just no, putting out some damage. Hunter yeah, also, yeah. you know, Hunter, right. Hunter's starting to lean in into his monitor a bit more. You you hear him talking, hey, just stay closer. Stay closer. We'll be okay to trade each other yeah, out. Don't be individuals. Great play by Aiden, yeah. doing a lot of damage there. Oh, man. Damn. This one, buddy. Oh, you gotta be a little bit more accurate. You gotta hit some of them shots. So close. Wow, just that last bullet there. Uh, we're on the board with. Fine. Up there, up there, at the top, right there, at the top, right there, right there. Bro, they throw all this damn smoke over here, bro. Yeah, it's definitely a Bangalore missing on the orange team, on Aiden squad. We need people doing a good job with the smokes and the thermals. Oh, this man is hiding. Oh, get out of here, man. All right, only an eight point gap. Uh, again, here we we're 30 to 22, 31 to, to 22. 32 oh, to 22. Yeah. Every time hey, I say it, it changes. Try, try to hit the care packages as much as you can, so bro, because they give you the best weapons in the game right there, bro. Like that, o, that OP stuff. That OP stuff. <laughs> he knows the, the real. The L Star, the Crossbow, the Gold 99, the Kraber. All the fun weapons. Next side, on the beach. It's going to be a nine kill lead, soon to be 10, and the largest lead we've had so far for Team TG. They're closing the gap, actually. Yeah, two quick Once kills again. just came through. Ooh. But two quick like kills up, just got acquired. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to be tough at this point in the game, but there's still time. All right, all on my side here. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, like everyone scan, scan. on the orange team just needs to look for TNG I'm player a, one. Just look for the look for the Bangalore. Not even need to look for the username. Look for the Bangalore. Everybody focus fire that character and then they'll have a chance. But I don't know if uh, Team Symphony can get on the right page. Forty-four to twenty-nine. We are six points away Once from having again, a victor. You see him start to run away with it towards the mid-game. We the people gets the weapons that he want. You know, he starts pushing his opponents back a little bit, then he starts owning the map. Okay. The other team is still playing incredibly, though. I mean, put this team in a lobby with regular everyday players, and they would absolutely dominate. They're just up against the best player in Apex Legends. One of the best for sure. I almost finished off that kill, but only two needed here. One more. All right, fellas, one more kill. Let's go. And there you have it. Hey, don't speak too soon now. D, give me a scan when you hey, cover him. Yeah, it's a, I'm letting the air out. It's like this. And there you have it. It, it. Uh, Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Team <laughs> wins yet again. Who would have saw it coming? Not A me. dominant victory. We the people leading them to a perfect day with Bobby Orkerike and Deion Dawkins.
That was a really intense battle. I loved watching both teams. The kills were much closer that time. And that, like I said, you watch Team Symphony in a regular match mm -hmm. and they would absolutely dominate. I can tell their synergy was there. Aiden was hitting his points. I got to give him credit as a first person yeah. shooter player watching him, even though we the people took home the victory with that game. This guy is an animal in Call of Duty. Absolutely insane, very talented player. And you could tell his NFL players as well, mm -hmm. both had a lot of talent playing the games no, he with did. Ryan and Hunter. You know, he did, they definitely did, okay? And, you know, we know that, you know, Aiden and Super Avenue talked about how good they were at Call of Duty, but, you know, they're good at shooters, but we the people were clearly, you know, yeah. the best creator that we had. I would love to see them all play COD, all three of them. Yeah. I would, you know, if this was a Call of Duty day between all three of them, that's a different story. But it's not, and it's Team TG having a flawless evening. Yeah, like I said, amazing to watch. It's really cool to be in the perspective watching someone who is the number one ranked player and seeing it from their perspective. Mm -hmm. This is really what it's like to be the number one player, to be number one at something, which not a lot of us can say that we are number one at something. I, you know, I can say that I'm number one at eating pistachios. Okay. Because right? <laughs> I didn't went through like most of this bag. Like it was super heavy before, but I think we got to like we have a cracking counter. No, I ain't uh, been, how many have you eaten today? I ain't today? been cracking. I've been smashing. He's been oh. smashed. I mean, I've been hearing I've been the, the cracks in my ears from how many pistachios Sorry, he's Chad, been I don't eating. Sorry, Chad. I don't mean to be smacking in y'all ears like that, but, you know, some things you can do, and you just got to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. That's what we do here on TNG. Yeah, no. And, you know, so... Um, great day from TNG, um, on TNG with Team TG. You know, they're going to be now our first place team in the standings. But don't worry, we still got some more action on the show, okay? Because we're not going to allow all of our NFL players to leave up out of here just yet. We still got some Madden to play. We're going to have Papa Me's come in remotely, okay, to hop in on that also. So it's going to be a fun time. But for now, let's wrap this up and toss it down to the stage. Thank you so much, Guy and Avery. We're here for the wonderful Pistachios post-game match. Now, we just have to keep bringing you back on stage because you keep winning 4-0, completely unprecedented, uh, I think, results that we've ever seen for the entirety, the history of NFL's Tuesday Night Gaming. And you pulled that off, sir, and not even on your own setup. So what do you have to say for that? Uh, I definitely didn't pull it off. The team pulled it off, team effort. Um, but we were, we were, shooting it we were moving it it was a good time honestly really i feel like time. it was just a well-oiled machine and you can really tell like even you know from the convincing victory in your first round to the next the synergy just got better and better right like even if there's a little bit more opposition into the next round you guys like everybody take a deep breath we got this yeah damn sure did because that was a heck of a performance I'll, I'll say this these guys right here man they definitely brought it a hell of a lot more yeah. than uh team number one you know like they they wanted it man it was close uh, but it was, you know, it was fun. Now, Bobby and Dion, I know that you guys are playing from home. Uh, you got a little bit of a, more of a taste of Apex. You said before today you had played it a little bit here and there, maybe in a previous season. But has playing today and the victory today kind of like whet your appetite a little bit? Maybe want to sink your teeth into some more future games and maybe one day join the stage with We The People on a more competitive uh, arena? A hundred percent. The only thing I'm curious about is, is it all like the Battle Royale style now? Because it used to be just trios, but if it's like that, that Battle like Royale style, like where you get to respawn and come back, was super dope. I'm with it. How about you, Bobby? Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say We The People definitely inspired me. Um, you know, he, he was out there balling. It was fun to play with him. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to get on his level, do what I can. <laughs> We love it. Hey, I know that you're jumping into Twitch Rivals soon. If for some reason your teammates call out sick, I think you found two more. Bobby Dion, if you guys are in Vegas in a couple days, man, you want to play in an Apex tournament, my teammates pull out, man, pull through. Let's do it. <laughs> for sure. So, yes, sir. <laughs> I like that, man. I'm scan for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely rivals on the field for sure, even as... as short as a couple days ago, but y'all came together and pulled off a big time. As Avali said, four and oh. That's a lot of points to accumulate in one session, my guy. You did it big. We did it big, man. We team team effort, you know, uh Bobby and Dion, they were shooting, man. I saw I saw Dion at one point. He picked up a gold hemlock. 
there were four enemies in front of him and he just mowed them down and it was that's it it was insane man i was proud i was like yeah <laughs> hey, y'all let's go <laughs> hey, you love to hear and see that well uh for all three of you congratulations on the big win for tng and all that's left to do is to go home and celebrate your win so uh thank you so much for joining us and we're gonna toss it right back up to the casters what else did you think about this win guys come on it was pretty cool Every, everything was really cool, okay? Because watching them work together and, you know, you're just seeing um, we the people super proud there at the end of a squad, mate. You know, that's what it's all about. Everyone coming together, making new friends. And um, if you do need a teammate for Twitch Rivals, put my name in a hat too, okay? I brought my keyboard and my mouse and my controller. Never knew what I was going to get into. Hey, I just give a, a shout out to Dion for his background. I'm... I mean, that's epic. A lot of the NFL players that join us, you know, they're they're sitting in their rooms or their houses, uh, but he's got the lights, he's got the setup. This gaming room is sick. I gotta give fresh. it to Dion, okay? Shout out to you for coming on um, NFL TNG with the cleanest gamer setup we've seen thus far. I think there's only one other NFL player to compete with him, but, it, you know, the name's not coming to me, but don't worry, we can bring those stats together at the end of the season. Who had the best setup amongst our NFL players and legends out there. But when it comes down to legends on your screen, it's a montage of we the people as he was just absolutely destroying everybody. You know, didn't matter the gun, alternator 99. How many kills do you star. think he had in I total? Think he, I think he at least put up 30 each game, if not more. Each game? Each game, 30 minimal, if not more. 60 kill game. 60 kill, no. 60 kill night, sorry. No, no. 120, Wait, 120. Kill night. <laughs> Over 100 kill night for We The People. Out of those four games, maximum 200. He definitely put up more than half of those kills. He didn't even have to get warmed up. He just got right into it. I mean, what else do you expect from the number one? You know, he had to break in a new controller tonight, too, also, you know? So, uh, you know, he, he said, hey, you know, I got a new one, custom ship, 24 hours. He was like, yo, Battle Beaver, come through. I need something for you. Hey, if he's playing at TwitchCon, I'm going to be there. Are you going to be there? I am going to be there. And I'm well. so excited to watch that go down. We can watch all of the madness happen all over again. Yeah, that's what you definitely can. And, you know, probably create some new madness with the NFL TNG crew as we go explore yes. through TwitchCon and see what's happening. If you guys want to see that, let us know. But I know what you do want to see, okay? Tell it's me. It's going to be the state farm moment of the game who had it who's gonna get it oh i think i know hmm. i think this is we the people on our screen couldn't yeah, be the, we the people could it with the, with the l star okay he got to the point where he had the double l star too as well actually no this is him dying somebody took him out right there so this is somebody actually being able to get a kill on him it became the playmaker moment of the game because it was their only chance and opportunity i think the, taking him down i think the playmaker moment of the game was just watching we the people play he he <laughs> was the playmaker moment of the game yeah he was that's why we could have used any one of his clips <laughs> there any single one of them so uh kudos to him but you know i do know that coming up here soon we're gonna have to you know, crown uh, a player of the week here in just Ooh, a bit, but an MVP. Hey, yeah, exactly. Who could it be? Well, enough from here from us. Let's toss it down to the stage to Avali. Thanks, guys. As you said, it is time to crown our State Farm Player of the Week. And Phil, we've seen so many amazing uh, gamers as well as NFL athletes grace the stage, whether it's here or from home today. Yep. But clearly, only one of them uh, really stood out. And listen, like a good neighbor, we the people was there. So let's bring him out, our State Farm Player of the Week. <laughs> She doesn't write this. She doesn't write this stuff. It's amazing. Off the top of the head, I love it. I talk. I have voices in my head. Let's yeah. bring them out. We the people. We the people. Where you at, my guy? There, there, there he you is. Go. Champion status right there. Walk the walk, talk the talk. Them shots was flying, my guy. We gonna we gonna have you double iced out like one of them rappers in the music videos in a second. You see that? Oh my god. That look good, don't it? Is that for me? That's like, for you. I, no, I get you. to keep that. For you. If you run fast enough, That's yes, true. you get oh to keep it here. Oh, allow me running. to just. They got me doubling that security. Crazy. I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, you good? I'd Look at that, man. This is insane. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, that is. Move the mic. Move the mic a little bit. Make sure they, make sure they get that. Make sure. Make sure y'all get a good shot of that real quick. My man, Ice Style, bring that thing back in. Look at him. Look at him, old Ice Style. Now look. I'm feeling like Migos right now. Come on now. Come on now. They wasn't ready for it. 
Now tell me something, when you came into this, were you expecting it to be as dominant as it was? Let's keep it a stack. Um, keep it a stack? Keep it a stack. You know, it's, it's tough for these guys who, Apex is a tough game to get into, right? It's a lot of movements, a lot of shooting, you gotta know the metas. Um, so me playing this game for five years, you know, and, and these guys being two of the greatest Warzone slash Fortnite players, it's, it's tough to really come in there and, you know, compete with somebody who plays this game for a living. Yeah, it's your turf. But I, I'll say this, listen, I think it was Aiden that was playing Bloodhound. He gave me the work. I don't know how many times, bro, I thought I caught him slipping and he he just had that gunny on him. Had that gunny on him. He's different. Aiden is 100% different. So are you though, man. I, as shown right here again by the ice, I gotta, I gotta keep highlighting that because it looks so good on you. You're gonna have to forgive me. What's up next for you? I think that you said Twitch Rivals. Are you expecting a W there as well? I feel like this is some good momentum to build off of. Yeah, I would I would love to to win at a Twitch Rivals. That the Twitch Rivals in Vegas this week yep. was actually supposed to be my first LAN event oh, ever. Okay. Right? Uh but we got we got a little taste of the land right here. Well, right? the NFL calls, oh, you kinda answer. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you kinda answer. You gotta pick up the phone, you know, <laughs> where the, I think it was Dion Sanders who <laughs> Maybe I don't even know. Maybe T.O. that picked up the phone at the end uh, in the end zone. But um, I'm hoping, you know, there's a lot of competition there. And these guys, they play Apex for a living. So they're going to turn it up. They're going to bring the noise. I like that, man. I know the confidence is there. Obviously, you're going to walk in looking right. I think he's got a good chance, Ovely. Yeah, I mean, just walk in with that, kind of blind everyone else. And I think you are uh, right in there, slotted right to the top. But again, thank you so much. And congratulations on the 4-0 win and being the State Farm Player of the Week. Thank you, guys. Woo! Have a good night. My man. Awesome. All right. Well, that was our uh, State Farm Player of the Week. We have a very special show match coming up next for you with MMG. So don't go anywhere, because when we come back, that's what's up next. Running back has it, but... Wait a minute, yo. Oh, 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 oh. that thing. He's got it oh, oh, oh. Can you move a mountain? Let's find out. Get a swag! Get a... Oh, that was good! With Deshaun Jackson and Asante Samuel Jr. See, J2K, fastest creature on planet Earth. Incredible. And our first victim is going to be. Oh, we call that job security, baby. Hold this ball. Hold on to your job. Oh, oh. Get that ball, Christian. The spike, the touchdown, the celebration. Oh. Oh. here with We The People. How you feeling today? Feeling good, feeling dangerous. All right, well, you're about to feel a lot more dangerous because you're here with Asante Samuel Jr., the man, the myth, the legend, the ball catcher extraordinaire. Now, today, he's going to teach you how to catch a ball, but more importantly, he's going to teach you how to pop off after you do it because this man is the firecracker of the NFL. Can you give him some tips? How do we catch the football, sir? Oh, uh, just like I said earlier, you just got to, you know, yeah. keep your hands close together. Yeah, yeah. The ball and hits your hand, squeeze it as hard as possible. You know, look it in all the way through. Yeah, yeah. It can get slippery sometimes. So, you know, and just, uh, and once you catch it, however you feeling after you catch it, you can turn up with the crowd. You can do whatever you want to do. Do a dance. Yeah, yeah. However turn you up. Just right. turn up. I ain't got moves like that, though. You know what <laughs> I mean? I, feel, I got I the hips. It I got looks the like hips. you got a little moves to you, though. Yeah. Three, two, one, catch that ball. Oh, yes, oh, sir. oh, to the crowd! Yes, oh, oh, the spike! Watch out, cameraman! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like that one for sure, though. Yeah. You turned over the crowd. I wish I could jump with the crowd, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that ball went absolutely in the stratosphere, man. Good, man. I, inspired from Gronk, man. Inspired from Gronk. Dang, dang. Uh, All right, all right. What do you think? Out of 10, and what are we feeling so far? Hey, that was that was nice right there. That was like a solid nine right there. Solid nine. All that's right. Better, that's better than I thought I'd get. I'll nah, take that. Sure. that. I'll take that. Nice, I was dude. thinking it was like a seven. Nah, hell no. No, no. Let's see that swag right now, my friends. Here we go. On three, three, two. Oh, let's go. Oh, good oh, catch. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. baby. Oh. 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 Oh.
so <laughs> not with that one for sure. You like that? Hey, I like that. I like All right, that word, man. Shout out, shout out T.O., bro. Oh, yeah. T.O., that was T.O. No, I ain't gonna lie, I like that one, man. That was that was definitely 10, 11 right there. You 11! Know? An 11! That's better than Wiggs. Yeah. No, right. I gotta flex that on him. I gotta flex that on him now. Oh, man. That's an 11 out of 10. We'll be seeing that one coming from Asante himself. Thanks for watching. In this game, numbers are everything. First and 10 at their own 6 5, 237. <laughs> Unstoppable. 324 catches, 4,825 yards, and counting. 26 and a half sacks, 20 carrots, all the sauce, baby. In this game, numbers are everything. So call yours, Madden 24. The new four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four-meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for movie night, picnic, sleepover, and NFL football games. Get the four-quarter calzone for $8.99. Pizza, pizza. All right, guys, this entire season boils down to one word. Bundle home and auto. But that's four words. Not if you bundle them. Oh. Bundle and save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What's up, everybody? We are back here on NFL's Tuesday Night Gaming, and it is time for MMG's show match. But where's MMG? Okay, as you can see, he decided <laughs> not to show up with us once again in the studio, so I get to hang out on the couch. Come on, Papa Meeks. What's up, man? Dude, I didn't decide not to come. Don't do me <laughs> like that. I'd love to be there. I know you would. I would every love chance. To be there. Every chance. You're a busy man, okay? Hey, it's it's still good to see you guys. It's so good to see you guys. It is. And you know, but uh so we got you going up against Hunter. Long today, Hunter. Uh, you know, when it comes down to Madden, all right? What's your skill set, okay? Do you think you're going to let this guy play around with you today or you're going to get him in this place? <laughs> nah, I, I, I'll hold my own hopefully. Madden is not my expertise. Uh, I'm definitely a shooter. I play shooting games. Haven't touched Madden in years. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set the bar low for myself, but okay. uh, hopefully exceed expectations. <laughs> there we go. I think that's a good Smart place to start. Man. That's a good call. <laughs> that's fun. Wait, so what do you play then? Are you a Call of Duty guy? Call of Duty. Call of Duty and Counter Strike, my main two. Okay. Call of Duty. Call of Duty is the, uh, the, the main Modern one. Though. I go way back beta. with COD. That's so fun, dude. What was your first COD? Do you remember? My first COD. Cause you're my age. Cause uh, I was, dude, I grinded Modern Warfare 2. Rust, my first, my first, scopes, first COD was World at War on the. Oh, I can't hear you. My first, first COD was World at War on the Wii. Okay. With the, uh, I had the gun. I had oh the gun my, thing. The oh my God! Hold on, World at War on the Wii. On the Wii. <laughs> I, I had, I had the gun thing. That, that was my first introduction <laughs> to COD. And then I got, and then I got an Xbox 360, and then it was. It was over from there, over, right? Yeah. Because if you've ever played COD on the Wii versus COD on the Xbox and oh, PlayStation, it, I, I was, it is a night and a day type of situation. I was, I, I was hot swapping World at War to get modded zombies, and then MW2 was oh, obviously, dude, obviously the game. Zombies was the best. Zombies was I a good love vibe. zombies. Yeah. I used to grind so much zombies, man. Mm-hmm. And Those now Easter eggs have, have you gotten down on new CS? Uh, yeah, I've been playing it. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of hours in Counter Strike. It's probably a toss up between Counter Strike and COD. And okay. actually, that's what, and that's what I was saying there when we was in the booth. When you said that, hey, I'm on M and K today. I said the way that he said it, he's got some hours in, maybe yeah, Valorant, Counter Strike, somewhere out there. Okay. I do. M my performance today was not where I wanted but we, But we know when it, it comes down to where, Apex and CS, they're two different yeah, pieces when it Apex, comes to Apex is not my game. I'm going to put that out there. All right. I got excuses. If it, it, hey, not, I'm not an excuse guy, Yep. but I got some excuses. But, if but I don't worry about it. Today, I'm going to give you another <laughs> excuse. You can play CS with me, All right, and I'll come out here, and I'll vouch for you once we get some games. <laughs> that's, in, that's okay? perfect, like, that's I don't perfect. know what Hunter was like in Apex yeah, or Madden, yeah, yeah, yeah. but in some CS, we got down. I'll, I'll hold it down and counter strike. All right, cool, cool. Now, MMG, you know what we're going to be playing yeah, today? Your excuse list. I'm telling you, though, this excuse list might be infinite because the Madden servers might be down right now. So there's Ooh. a chance we can't even play Madden. 
Which what? Is, honestly, is this though, turned like, into a podcast? You have the greatest excuse. <laughs> the greatest excuse on planet Earth. Yo, it's, how it's irony. Genius. I might be able to say I didn't lose, too. I, I'm lossless. In, exactly, in, in, man. In the show match. Uh-huh. Undefeated, undefeated in the show match. Yeah, I might be undefeated in the you show You showed up to the stage and yeah. you walked away not a loser. No, wait, hey. that's so true. You technically <laughs> would not be defeated. Undefeated yeah. would be We're a fair have to term. See. <laughs> the, hey, the I'm thing sorry, is, bro. I should have I should have swapped out my Barry Sanders mm -hmm. for a Rams jersey here today. <laughs> nah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I, Yo, I should have thought ahead like that. MMG, I have a question for you. Okay, when it comes down to of our Madden show matches, how many people have beat you? Who is who else is undefeated out there? I had. Oh no, uh, Adam. I was about to say I haven't lost. No, up and Adam, the other Madden guy, he beat me. Oh yeah, that, that was like week number one or two. Loss. Week number one or two that happened. But you know what? You didn't, you didn't you lose know to what Andre. I find interesting though, Hunter. What's that? No, I didn't lose to Andre. Okay. Come on. <laughs> uh uh. No, but but Hunter, what I found interesting is, is I play Madden with a lot of NFL guys. Nobody plays Madden. Everybody plays Call of Duty. Yeah. I just no one... found that so interesting. You'd think it'd be the NFL guys who play Madden. You know? No. No. I mean. Chain it. F football's our <laughs> life. I go home. I hop on COD or Counter Strike. Uh. Like, that's so not, true. The, 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 <laughs> there, are, there are some guys that, that rep the Madden. I'm, I'm not one. <laughs> no, it, yeah, I agree with you because, like, e even with me, when I used to cook for a living, I didn't want to go home and cook for myself. Like, I would always go home and eat cereal, ramen, or like the quick dishes because I wanted to game when yeah. I was at home, right? So I'm pretty sure you don't want to go home and Bro, play you just more football. Some lower on us. <laughs> yeah, not. <laughs> you you know, were, hey, you were a I, 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 I love the game, chef? but <laughs> yeah, but before they but, they put a lot of money into Gears of War. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. I'll rip some. I was ripping the Dude, COD I, beta recently. We should just but... load up COD. Can we do a? Can we do a show match where we play COD? I would love Let's that. Let's go MW3 beta. You would? Yo, we go on a state or something. I haven't got a chance to play the beta yet this weekend. The beta, the beta ended yesterday. I it think. did. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was. I was. I was. It was a good beta. Halo. I played it. I played it a couple months it ago uh, with the Rams. Okay. And it, it's come a long way since then. It, it, it's a fun game. I like it. Oh, that's awesome. They let the Rams yeah. get down on the beta a little bit? Yeah, a little pre-pre-beta. Oh, that's super cool. It? Yeah, it Super nice. cool. What? Yeah. I like the game. There's some nostalgia that's with the maps. Sick. I didn't know you guys got that. The maps. All right. I was about to say, that's half of it, dude, is the nostalgia. Like yeah. high-rise and estate and, yeah. oh, my God, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. They, they play different, too, because of the new movement. Uh, they play a lot different. It's a little bit slower this season. Else, Not faster. Well, well, compared to... Com it's, dude, it's so fast. It's Model unbelievable Model for 2 back speed. in the day was so slow <laughs> on this map. It'll blow your mind. Oh you, oh, you mean CODs back in the day? Or are we talking about the recent titles? Re recent CODs compared to back in the day. Like, like all these oh, maps, yeah, yeah, 100%. All, all, all these maps back in the day were played so slow. And Man, now, we, we could talk about you now the know, new movement. all this. Everything you know, post-2019 or something else. But I think we're getting back to where we want to when it comes down to CODs. So I agree. I agree. I'm excited for it. You know, but we are going to be playing some games here today on stream. We're going to see if we can get Fall Guys locked in because the Madden servers are down. No, I play Fall Guys. I'm going to put that out there. Oh, okay. I'll we got a Fall challenge Wait, here. Actually, I do play Fall Guys. Yeah. You play Fall Guys? <laughs> yeah, me, me, me Shoot, and the, dude, me, I, I have got about five games lab to Fall Guys. This will be fun, then. <laughs> I'm no, me, me and the homies from uh, from back in high school rep, rep Fall Guys a good amount. All right, this will be a lot better than the uh, Gerald like McCoy that. versus MMG matchup that we had last week, <laughs> yeah. all right? McCoy's a bum. I love him, but he's a bum. <laughs> he did not know how to use that controller. He did not at all. Uh, uh, Wait, Hunt, oh. Hunter, where, where are you from? Where's your high school? From New Hampshire, if you, if you know, where, oh, if you know cool. where that's at. And then you were, you were BC, right? BC, yeah. Not many... Uh, Good news, bro. Bro, are you uh yeah, not many BC guys, huh? Not many BC. I was gonna say not not many people know where New Hampshire is. I I, I say I say New Hampshire. <laughs> I sort of know where it is. It's over on the it's over on the east coast. It's up right? in the cut, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's somewhere yeah. up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's up in the northeast cut. You yeah. know, it gets covered up with snow who sometimes. The, who are the best? Who are the best Boston College players in the NFL? Oh, you got AJ, AJ Dillon's BC. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a lot you of guys. You didn't play with AJ right Dillon, did you? Yeah, he, he was my he was my draft class. We, we we went into BC together, played with him for three years. Oh, oh nice! That's awesome. Yeah, we, we got that's we got so a lot cool. of guys balling right now. So it, it's oh, cool. Oh, Matty Ice, Romanowski, what? Yeah. Luke Keekley? No way, Luke Keekley was BC. Was Matt he? Milano, he's repping right now. Dude, you I guys mean, could build a, a nasty right? all-time team. Oh, Justin yeah. Simmons. Oh yeah. Oh, Matthias Kibanuka. That's a sleeper right there. That dude is a dog. BC produced some produced some guys. Our, 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 our records, our records while I was there, 
isn't, isn't something to, to brag about, but the players we had on the, on the team. Hey, that's what I'll, it's I'll all stand about. Behind, I'll stand behind them. Did that's you? Good. Oh, you missed out on NIL then too, huh? I think, oh, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, I left the year before that started. Which honestly, I'm is probably... That, is that frustrating? No, I'm honestly grateful for it. That that seems so hectic. <laughs> that seems like... Uh, I mean, it it's is great. Nuts, it, it, it is great for the guys getting paid. It just seems like a lot. A lot to deal with. But I'm happy for the guys it getting paid. college I mean, football. Yeah. College football is never going to be the same. That's so crazy no. to me. No, not at all. It's going to... It's going like to change it, the landscape. Are, do you keep up with college football at all? I do. I do like watching college football. I'll, I'll watch it here and there. Dude, that like... It's just, it felt like for 10 years, it was, it was Bama, Georgia, Bama, Georgia, Bama, Georgia. NIL comes in even just this first year, and it's, the whole roadmap is completely different. Yeah. I'm excited. Like, I couldn't even tell you the, the number one natty contender right now. I, I assume it's probably still Georgia, but. There's, there's some teams this year. I don't know. There's definitely some, some teams. teams. Man, I'm excited to watch. And Bama's kind of, Bama kind of fell off. I hate to be a hater, but. I'm a Michigan State fan, and we fell off. We are, uh, we are not a, good this year. That's tough to be a Michigan State fan. Yeah. I'm Notre it Dame really for college. Tough. and yeah, you I know, went to so State, and no, my senior no year Dame was fan? the Kenneth yeah. Walker year. I don't know if we can be boys now. <laughs> I don't even know if we can be friends. <laughs> all right, we might not be interested <laughs> on the stage, you know. Uh, <laughs> move further apart. You know, it's like all Indiana teams, Notre Dame, Ball State, you know, those are my two you know, okay. college okay. teams. Okay. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you for being a Notre. Oh, Dame you can't fan. have yeah. multiple. You got to go. Well, no, Indiana, like, well, okay, then I'm, do, I'm doing Notre. State, I'm doing Notre. Ball, Ball State and Notre Dame is, is uh. Yeah, they're no, they opposite they're ends. Good. You know, like I spent most of my college years in Muncie at Ball State with my boys. Okay, but I did culinary school in Chicago, so I didn't like do have like a college football team. So I got a chance to jump around. All right, but Notre Dame was the closest to it. So you jumped on a you jumped on a, on the Notre Dame bandwagon. I did jump on the Notre Dame bandwagon. I was valid. It's okay. Not a bad bandwagon. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one to bandwagon. Yeah, they are not wrong there. <laughs> oh man, and I've been to you know one of the college games out there, and um, it is sick. You know, I, I love the atmosphere of Notre Dame games. You know, I, I played there when before. everybody come through. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's cool really nice. Play it. mm -hmm. It's not bad. Yeah, but we now didn't, we didn't beat them, but. As we get this, uh, you know, Fall Guys game set up, let's talk about some matches in the NFL that, that happened this past week. MMG, what was one that stood out to you, okay, that you, that you watched? Obviously, the Lions winning. Always, baby. Again, 5-1. True, and one. All true right. contender. For the I, first time literally ever. It's so exciting. They man. own a nice little streak. It's okay? so exciting. They're not a bad team. Not mm -hmm. at all. I, you know, I think for team. me, it has to be... 49ers losing the Browns, and then Eagles losing the Jets, okay? So no more undefeated teams off both of those. Yeah, those so those ones. two I will have to go. Those are big those are games. Big and they were close games too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Completely you know, unbiased. Work. I think my favorite game was um, Rams-Cardinals, 26-9. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite oh, game Hunter, too. I, I didn't even know you were in the studio, man. <laughs> yeah, crazy. crazy. <laughs> I, was, I was actually just about to say that one. Yeah, <laughs> right? I was waiting for <laughs> it. You took the words out of my mouth. Mm -mm. Nah, dude. Huge, huge win for the Rams. I was on, this past I was on here last week with, uh, with your teammate, Puka. And Puka? Uh, we got to play that game, actually. We played Rams Cardinals. We were trying to see if like we could get the score to line up to what it would be in real life. And I I, I won as the Cardinals, unfortunately. How, so, how, much, how much did you actually, win? Actually, no, that's a good thing. It, uh, it, was, a, dude, it was a close game. It close was a really game, good game. Okay. I think it, I won by two scores. It, it two came down to like the he fourth quarter. He fumbled right there at the end, though. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm, it really would have been one possession. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little relieved we're not playing Madden right now. I think, I think, I, I think I would have, I, I would have tried my best to hold my own, but there's a chance you would have been running circles around me. I feel a lot more comfortable so here good. with the Fall Guys. So okay, nice, I'm, nice, I, dude. I'm, Fall I'm Guys is fun. I'm geeked about this too. I'm perfectly fine with this. You know, maybe we switch it up every weekend. You know, MMG, you give them an option. Okay, y'all wanna play you in Fall Guys, Madden, you know, whatever they want. You know? nah, I don't know. I want to give them a matter. <laughs> you say you really do want to go matter, right? Let me not switch I'll things keep, up, okay? Because producers looking at me like Blaze Stop. He wants his dogs on Madden. <laughs> Dude, I want to be undefeated, man. <laughs> you know, I don't want to lose this season. <laughs> this could be my L right here, though. So I, I'm actually locking in for this, like big time. Is Madden your game? I should probably know that. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I do YouTube and, and all I play is Madden, Madden to be honest. But I don't I play it competitively. That. It's just entertainment stuff. The entertainment? You know? Gotcha. I'm going to have to tap in now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nah, definitely yeah, tap in. Big, in dude, bro, I, one of my, like, 
This video's banging right now is my Rams rebuild. You actually balled out in it. 100% balled out in that <laughs> okay. rebuild. It was a good time. I like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's just franchise mode. You get to take over the squad and kind of like rework it, do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. um, Stetson Bennett had a monster season. I remember that. Stetson, Stetson Bennett threw like 4,300 yards in a season. Mm -hmm. um, trying to remember what else happened. Puka went off. Cooper Cup went off. It was a good time. That was a good rebuild. It's not bad. I All think right. we got a lobby now, too. I think I get to join up. Yeah, so how, you do. How, how are we going to be playing each other in fall, guys, is the question. So um, I think what you guys are going to do is going to be a 1v1 a race 1v1. to the end. Yep. 1v1 oh, okay. race to the end. So last week, you know, Gerald, you know, he was good for about the first 10 seconds, okay? Mm. Then MMG just start messing around with him, start mm. grabbing him, you know, he start doing some shishy stuff. Okay, so time. so be prepared about him mm. trying to mess with you. Okay, and, 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 am I able to change my binds or? I think you, if you can probably get oh into him God, now, you're maybe. A sweater. Yo, right? He's trying to change <laughs> so key screwed. binds and everything out here. He switches binds. I actually clap. That's whack. No, I really uh, never played Fall Guys, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm not playing video games all the time. It, this will be a good match. I'm excited. Uh, I love. G gonna be entertaining to say the least. It boosts your ego when you're when you're running past twelve year olds and fall guys. That's true. You're getting some wins. <laughs> That's true. Boosts you your know, ego a little bit. You, you <laughs> see your placing just too, goes man. up each yeah, and every yeah. time. You start winning back to back games. Dude, you start this feeling kid just good. got on like sixth grade, like <laughs> yeah, algebra one. He just got home on from the game. He's just getting flooded forty to zero, man. <laughs> he just got home from school. Let's go, baby. Oh man, it's a winner, one in the land. Perfect for the holiday. Oh, we Dude, I'm right actually into. geeked. Let's go. We're jumping right into it. Let's go, Hunter. Here we go. And they're I'm off. Start grabbing me now. I'm actually getting Oh, that bounce that bounce was. <laughs> I'm getting smoked. These bounces. Actually it's not so about how you start, it's how you finish. That's no. gotta hit. <laughs> oh, how did you yeah. Oh my god, man. twice? I watched you get smacked by Strawberry. Where are you going? What path is this? Yeah. Oh, he really yeah. knows the meta. You go up top is slower. Please don't smack me. That's wait. That's so genius. I probably should. Yo, be he this played map. the he played this map for I sure. I should be running across this. Oh. oh, you got lucky. I should. No, dude, oh. I didn't know. I I didn't know it did that. That might have saved me. No. Oh 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 dude, oh. Dude, this fan is whack. Oh. Did Bang. you fall? Nah, he completed it. Oh. I played this map a couple times. <laughs> Easy. Oh, how do you even get past Hunter that? Hunter with the first place victory. <laughs> Was after a hot start. I hit a couple times in the beginning. Bro. All right, let's run it back. Yeah, we got Best out of three. Best out of three. We got to run this run. back. We, we got to run yeah, a few more maps. Yeah, every man deserves a best out of three. Yeah, That's right? Yeah, nah, nah. Sit up, sit, up, sit up, Meeks. Best out of three. It ain't over yet. I'm locking in. <laughs> you that got relatively close no nah, it, it really was you just you I'm know following you, though. you, you, know the, you hit you one wrong step having down uh, the, the, the the one part where you drop underneath it's faster than, than going up top but then you took the shortcut which, which caught back like up it, bro. I, I took the safe ride around the outside you risked it and it, it worked out for you dude do you count does this game like is it like a solo dub just like in fortnite like can you track that stat um, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, no, nah, every account has the total wins on it. Oh. I, I usually only play with the boys, you, If though. you were going to tell me your, like, amount of solo dubs off the dome piece, I knew I was definitely in trouble, <laughs> nah, but now nah. I have a chance. I, I honestly, I've probably if played... If you don't know that, I'm good. I've played I've played a handful of solo games in this. I play I play with the boys and run squads and stuff. Oh, bet. Definitely a game to do it. It's, it's, it's kind of goofy looking, but it's actually so fun. Oh, it, you can get into it. Ooh, I got the I got the advantageous start here though. You may. I have to test the buttons out. Oh, if everybody you knows the this button map. in the middle of your controller. It's turbo. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass out of here, Hunter boy. Get out of here, boy. Oh, oh shoot! Whoop! Oh, no. snatched up. Oh, I'm tragic. Yo, Blaze, go hit his controller or something for me, bro. <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> yeah. go, go, go. No. <laughs> no shot I get through this. Oh, my God, I'm cracked. I'm actually cracked. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go safe. If you go risky, you might. What's have down it. center? Is this risky? But like, I have a shot to, to beat you here. You oh. have a shot. You have a shot if I'm you up. go risky. Oh! oh! <laughs> I'm so trash. Ah! So even if he got a limb here, what if he got a limb here, dude? What? Nah, he ain't getting a limb. Where He's you just at? too smooth with it. He oh. gone. He off the Where map. I'm getting BM'd, bro. Quit emoting. You cross that finish, <laughs> that finish line right now. <laughs> I don't know. Man, you know. Oh, I just got emoted on and fun. Yeah, we, Somebody know, either has, I, I, you know, I think Hunter got some of the best <laughs> luck we've seen on this stage here. Uh, I don't know. Oh I don't know if I should be God. so proud. That I, I'm, I ain't I'm never so... seen someone tell you that he's going to be undefeated in an MMG show match and then just cook you two games like that right after. Yeah, man. It's not. It's not a strong suit, Madden. I'll get. I'll get him this. On. It, it, he would. He would have cooked me in Madden. I don't know if I should be so proud that I'm so good at this game, but I, I do have some hours in this game. I'll, I'll admit hey, that. Hey, bro. I think you should a be. dub is a dub. Yeah, I'll take. I will take the dub. You. I will. I will take that. <laughs> that was fun. Perfect. <laughs> Jeez, jeez. Hey, you know what? I asked for comp. I was I was trash talking McCoy last time. I was like, bro, I want some comp, and I got my comp, <laughs> so I can't say anything I, now. I, I think you're probably gonna stick to Madden now, huh? <laughs> right? And people are gonna start asking for Fall Guys. I'm like, nah. Nah, yeah, no, nope. no, sir. <laughs> and I'm picking, I'm picking the Chiefs too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would have lost by 15 Madden, so I'll, I'll give you that one. Next week, you gotta pick the Bears for me and Madden, okay? The Bears, yeah. If I want to lose, that'd be an absolute blast. <laughs> yeah, or oh, you want to try Justin hard. Justin kind of a dog in that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> no, no, you know what? Him and DJ Moore got big ratings boosts. So low-key. Oh, they did? Kind of good, did. good. Oh, yes, they deserved it from the week yeah, before. Yeah, it's a struggle. Not start, week, but they, they're starting to look good. They are, but we got our issues. We got yeah, some more games running Yeah, you guys lose the Vikings? Uh, we lost the Vikings this week by six. Yeah, lots it's of field ugly goals. Game. To, um, ugly, ugly game. Fields got injured a little bit there towards the end, but nah, you're right. It was an ugly game. It was an ugly game. You know, we just, need North, to, you know? we just need to get our defense back, man. We lost our defense. We can't even be the monsters of the midway. It's like we're like Monsters, Inc. of the midway, okay? It's it's nothing special, you know? But we can score Bro, points you're gonna now. Be, you're going to be coping for a long time, to be honest with you. You got about um, five more years of cope. I'm cool. Let, we'll take these draft picks Carolina about to give us next year, and uh, we'll move on from there. Oh, All right. We're running it back, baby. I think we are. are. We're going to load up another okay. game. I think you got, I I think got, you got some more fall guys to play. You there got you some go. redemption here. All right, come on. This could be the third kidding. one. This may be our third and final matchup here. I was feeling good, undefeated. Right, now now, it, now that's back on the line. You gotta put the record up, man. Yeah, gotta defend no, it over here on the TNG stage. All right, cool. Hunter, do you play Warzone at all? I do not. I play competitive, ranked and. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too good yeah, at the I'm battle so royale. I'm ranked. Do you do keyboard and mouse on competitive? No, I play controller. Controller competitive? Uh, yeah. yeah. Kai goes way back. Yeah, now Kai competitive, like you do controller, Warzone, you do mouse and keyboard. For yeah. Me. I, I play I play Claw on the PS4 controller. Oh, nice. That's my, my go-to. Have you always been playing Claw? Did you learn nah, later in life? I was, I was paddled on a scuff, but then like you hype yourself up as a good cob player and you go you go to the homie's house and he, and he got a regular <laughs> controller and you don't have your paddles yeah you you look like like you were lying the whole time so then i, I learned claw just for that reason. ah you learned oh <laughs> you learned that that's actually pretty cool that you learned claw just so you had more consistency on a controller that you <laughs> yeah. were playing with I didn't, I didn't have to have my controller really to play well yeah no nah, no nah, that's some, that's some game that's some hardcore gamer yeah. stuff right but there now, okay? but now i got claw now claw's mine claw's my yeah no nah, like when I had to learn, I learned Claw at like 20, like 10 years ago at like 23, just cause I wanted to like move better at gears. And I swear my forearm hurt for like three yeah. months straight as you tried to like, just get yourself in the yeah, right position. I, I can't do it on an Xbox controller. I was, I was trying on an Xbox controller in Apex. And I, nah, I, nah, I it do, do it. it do stretch your finger a little bit more. Oh, uh, this is a map for you. All right, MMG, get your redemption. Are you are you saying it's a it's just an easy ass map? Is that what you just said? No, to me? no, I'm saying I'm saying that this is a hard map. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, this is this is a this is a map and a half. I like right it. Here. Oh, this map is the one. Wait, so were you um, were you Xbox or PlayStation? There, are you saying you're PlayStation growing up? Uh, I was Xbox growing up, and then uh, oh, okay, good. I started. Oh, I fell. Where are you at? 
No way. Wait I got a second. So then, do I just need to beat where you are in yeah. line, or? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Oh, I, I don't get to respawn. Do we both lose? I don't get to. The observers win now. Uh, imagine. Oh, that map. That map you usually get to respawn. Yeah, I saw it when we were jumping wait, through. So I saw I the ring. Shot to get a dub, and I completely oh, chucked it that quick. Wow, you did. I didn't realize I messed up that badly. I thought that's the respawn was gonna come through, but that's, uh, that's gonna do it for Fall Guys that's today. One, okay, man. three good games. I, it. I had it. No, actually, I don't think you choked it because, like, even with him falling, you still got I'm still further. Still undefeated. Yeah, no, I think he got further though. <laughs> But but it's not official, so yeah, no, right. Know. There's nothing on the I record. Don't, we don't praise winners yeah, who fall and fall, don't guys. Go back and look at who got further. I yeah. Know. Am I o one and one now? No. Uh, oh my goodness, that's whack. It is. It is. I mean, I'll but, take it. Oh. It's hey. a better performance than my first goal. Are we are we able to run that back or no? Are we done? Nah, that's yeah, gonna be it. That's gonna be a done? wrap. MMG All is right. about to close us out. As we my fault, my fault. in the show match, though. But hey, this, no, this was fun here on the oh, stage, well, okay? We learned out, a lot. Baby. Yeah, close you us out, okay? Hey, no, Hunter, that's your dude, name up there. It's great to talk to you. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on. Oh, of course, I'm, I'm glad of course. I get to talk to all the Rams guys right now. This is oh, so yeah. cool. Of course. Thanks for having me. Dude, this, this you really great. play, huh? I might I might have to get you on Xbox after this if you're really playing COD like that. Oh, I, oh, be fun, I, dude. I, I play COD like that. I'm on Xbox. I'm going to hit you up, too. We're going to do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Hey, everybody for tuning in. I'm sorry we couldn't play Madden, but honestly, had a blast in Fall Guys. Clearly, I got to get some more reps in, but you know what it is. We still had an absolute blast. It's an honor to have Hunter Long on here. Wish you the best of luck in the rest Thank of your you, season, sir. You guys are killing it, Thank and uh, I appreciate everybody for joining in. It's been a blast. You guys are amazing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday for a lot more heat. I appreciate you guys so much. Peace out, y'all. Hey, every good running back has it, but... Wait a minute, yo. Oh, 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 look at that ball, Christian! The spike, the touchdown, the celebration. Oh, 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 oh. With super evident CJ2K, the running back extraordinaire. Now, surprisingly, running is a big part of being a running back. And super evident, we have brought you out here to see your speed. Do you have any experience running, my man? I do a little bit. I mean, I grew up playing basketball. I, oh. had, I had a little track experience in my life, you know. Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah. so. Basketball players, what do you think, CJ? Yeah, he's athletic. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Athletic. So, we're going to have CJ give you some tips on how to move fast. We're going to see if he can teach you anything. And then you are going to be racing again. Against him, do you think you have any chance of beating the man with the most rushing yards in NFL history? If he doesn't go 100%, yeah, I think I have a chance. Yeah. All right, all right. What percent are we feeling here? I don't know, probably about 80. 80? Okay, okay. Not a chance. I don't know. Keep going. All right, all right. All right. well, let's line up first. Full force. Let's say down. Three, two. Oh, go ahead. You do it. Chat. Hot. Oh, Move it, baby. Move it. Okay, that's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Well done. Well done. 30 yards. Oh, he's got me cooked then. I'm going this. You gotta cook. He's got me cooked. Okay, you go as far as you want, as long as you celebrate. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he oh, might get me. Oh, oh, he this might get me. This guy's got the spark, dude. He's got it. He, I got long legs. Me. Moment of truth, my man. He's the most scared I've seen him all day. You might actually beat this uh, man. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. All right, you said 80%. We might need the 100. I'm going to go 100. I'm going to go 100. All right. This is for all the Marvel Super Evan. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Chris Johnson. How is that possible? It this starts better than mine. Like he was trying. <laughs> he just won. <laughs> Super Evan, I have no idea. You look like the fastest creature ever made. This guy's jogging. What happened there? He got me off the line. Damn. I told you if it was longer, if it was longer, I maybe got him. If it was longer, okay. <laughs> right, I need a rating here for Super Evan, sir. He's in a lot of runners. What do you think? I got to give my boy. He had me scared, man. I got to give my boy a nine. <laughs>
He gets I'm it now. I'll take that all day. He's the best I've seen all day. All right. I appreciate that. Well, appreciate good there. You know what? I don't think we need an instant replay for this one because that was a smoking, but a nine anyway for Super Evan. Thanks for watching Tuesday Night Gaming. Don't you run anywhere. We'll be back soon. Competitive eater Joey Chestnut does it like a champ. Call me Joey Pistachio. Wonderful pistachios. Get cracking. The sun has set on Phil, your first ever NFL Tuesday night gaming. You did a great job today, man. How'd you like today? Um, I thought this was easily one of the best experiences I've ever had within like the esports realm slash hosting realm. Um, the players were so nice. Obviously, the NFL players, uh, the staff, yourself. It was just a hell of a production, and I can't wait to come back next week. I know, man. I can't wait. We're going to see each other every single week. Next week, the week after that. We're going to get tired of that, me. The week. We're going to see. Maybe you'll get tired of me first. That is more likely. But one thing that I never get tired of, <laughs> I'm going to say that. <laughs> one thing that I'll never get tired of is definitely watching these games definitely. play. Because we always see uh, crazy things happen every single week. This week just happened to be Team TG pulling off a 4-0 win in Apex. Like, that was insane. And I feel like it was maybe even aided by the new format that we've introduced, right? It's, you know, sticking to one single game. And obviously that was something that we, the people, was able to shine in and just accumulate an additional four points for the squad. That is a major way uh, to go up. And a really good look for that team as they are sitting pretty eight points in total as the standings does show. Yeah, Team TG has essentially already doubled the amount of points of the runner-up in Team Symphony. But honestly, I think that all eyes are kind of on Team Swag right now mm. they've had two showings so far four opportunities to pick up points yeah they have only been able to pick up the one yeah that's pretty rough for that squad especially as we get further and further into the season I mean you can't you know what I'm saying you can't be team swag and not have any swag you know what I'm saying it's like where's the drip where's the points I should say because they are definitely struggling they got to pick it up they definitely have to find some more wins and some more objectives there. But listen, uh, we have a special piece of content for you guys. We have another short package of one of our players from behind the scenes with this week's USAA squad story. If I wasn't a professional content creator slash streamer, I think right now I would still be in Boston doing real estate, kind of hating my life, but we're here living the dream. My favorite player of all time in the NFL, this is an easy one, Tom Brady, greatest of all time, six round draft pick, 199th overall, been overlooked his entire life, worked his ass off, and became the greatest of all time. So if I had to pick anybody to join my squad, it would definitely be Tom Brady, Gronk, or Edelman. I mean, those guys just seem like a good time and, you know, they want to win. Today on my squad, we got Bobby and Dion. I mean, I don't know how much they know about Apex, so I think my role uh, in this would be the IGL in-game leader. I'm sort of gonna, you know, try to help coordinate the fellas together so we could, you know, win the games and whatnot. Uh, see what happens. Today, I might carry my squad, I might not. I think the name of the game is definitely teamwork. You know, we gotta see what these guys, what characters and legends they like to play. How do they like to play? Um, but I want us to be the aggressor, you know, and I'm gonna be on the front lines right there, just letting that thing sing, and uh, hopefully we win today. Today, obviously I plan on winning, I'm super competitive. I know these guys from the NFL, super competitive as well. We all wanna win. Uh, so we're going to do our best, take home that dub, and uh, bring some glory to the squad. Remember, it's not just gaming that's better with a great team by your side. That's where our sponsor, USAA, comes into play. With USAA, you have a great squad in real life having your back. Team up with USAA today. 
always love hearing stories like that from our players. 100%. And, you know, as great of a story as that is, what a turnaround on that package, too. They did that today. Shout out to our awesome production team. They don't get enough credit. So I had to show you some love right there. That's crazy. No, they film it all upstairs. We have, like, our own little Hall of Fame up there with a bunch of players' uh, jerseys and all that stuff. Love it. I think they stole Will Neff's jersey that he left behind <laughs> here one day. I think it had, like, a four on it. Dude, we'll the, we the people so well-spoken as well, right? Love hearing any kind of, like, uh, backstory or pieces of information and gems that he loves to drop, man. Just a great show all around. I liked hearing the accent. True. He's from Boston, you know? Boston. I'm sorry, one more time? Boston. Form a full sentence with that accent really fast. I want you to offend a couple people. Okay. Tom Brady is not the greatest player of Boston. I don't even know what the hell I said. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I apologize. I don't even know what I said. I don't care what you said. I loved it. Let us he know. He is the chat. go for the record. <laughs> Let us know in chat if you enjoyed that too. But listen, we saw a uh, crazy action today. Next week, we're going to get even more chaos in this arena. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in store. My name is Jordan Legion Pate. What's going on, guys? My name is Hector Torres, AKA Repulse. We're the funniest and probably still the best gamers that are here today. I don't think any team has the team chemistry that we do. We're gonna smoke them. We're gonna smoke them like I smoke turkey for Thanksgiving. You stand no chance, brother. There's just no way we lose. That's got all the makings of a blockbuster night. That was perfectly put together. I like the humor, but the intensity that accompanied it as well. Do people smoke turkey? Yes. Not in my household. What do you do in your household? We're more of a chicken and ham kind of family. Chicken and ham? I like that. I that's like, just us. That's just us. I like ham more than turkey, too. So you know what? You, you got to invite me over Most for people dinner do, sometime. Really. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But listen, uh, we're putting a wrap to your first episode of NFL's Tuesday Night Gaming. Uh, Team TG with their fantastic win. I think that's going to be it for us today. Hey, it was very memorable, and I appreciate everybody involved. It was definitely uh, one for the books, to say the least, obviously. This absolutely. was a lot of fun. Yeah, so everyone, make sure that you watch our next episode next Tuesday right here at NFL's Tuesday Night Gaming. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to follow us on all of our social medias at NFLTNG. We're on Twitter. We're on TikTok. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're on what other platform did I not name? Are we on Instagram? I think we're on Instagram. Gotta be on Go the Go follow gram. us on Instagram. Be on the gram. Are we on threads? I'm not quite sure, but Nobody you're the first follower. Can you not get out? Come on, man. <laughs> we need an alternative. We need an alternative, okay? Be sure to watch next week. Thank you guys all so much for watching. A uh, round of applause for Phil. Oh, He's yeah. fantastic. He's in here. He's out there. Let's go. Phil, look at all those people in the little AR office. Cheers. Right there. See that person in the red dress? Yes, I do. I don't know about changing my name, man. Come on, Mahomes, my auto, best bundle in the league, baby. Mahomes, my auto, let's go. Bundle and save with a personal price plan. How many people did you tell? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.